What is up, everybody? Spidey here, and as always, I hope you're having a marvelous day. Have I got a tree for you? We're calling this the Ripathon because uh, we're going to open up a bunch of boxes of Marvel cars. I'm going to be doing it with my friends. I've got Jason here from Running Back Collectibles. What's up, buddy? How you doing, Justin? Hey, I'm doing well. And our good friend, really the man of the hour, got to get where his mic is. Here it is, <laughs> Mr. Ryan McKenna. How's it going? Good evening. Good. How you doing? I'm well. I'm well. Look, it's uh, it's Friday night. We're live, and I want everyone to know this this, this time. Uh, Joshua Madness at uh, Marvel Car uh, Marvel Madness MCU. He's live right now with Miss Brittany. Go check it out. Go watch that. Uh, go go give them a, a follow and a like and, and enjoy what they got going over there. And if you're watching the replay, go check it out. Marvel Madness MCU. But my friend Ryan here messaged me uh, and said, "Hey, I've got ten. Wait, it was was it ten boxes or eleven? It, it was actually twelve. <laughs> <laughs> see this but is, right now it's 10 now it's 10 see josh this is this is why i couldn't delay ryan's request uh so ryan because he you, knows i have no strength you have no <laughs> strength you have no strength i have no time and together we're here live uh late on a friday night but um <clears throat> yeah and and uh you know the missus is not at home to tell you exactly yeah tell you what to do right so, i can be in my office don't have to worry oh. about waking everyone up you're not in the workout room. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Does that mean you can't do any push-ups during the, the rip right now? So. I mean, I can if everyone wants to see it, but they're probably more interested in the cards. I, I know you can't. I'm going to tell you what. My my trainer gave me the worst workout this morning. My goodness, it was terrible. But nobody wants to hear about that. Um, <laughs> let's say hello to a couple of people. We got Danny Woodard here. What's up, buddy? Uh, we've got Chuck. Hey, good evening. Yeah, let's go. Uh, we got the artist, Ben Brody. What's going on, my friend? Uh, we're going to be opening up Platinum tonight, right? Got some boxes yep. of Platinum. We got three three boxes of it. It's from my, Funk. He's in the chat here. Oh, he's in the chat, too. We yeah. might pull one of the, one of the Brodies there. We got Sweetie Shimmer. He says, woo, let's go. Yeah, absolutely. Marvelously sketched. Good evening. Sandy, how's it going? Good to see you here. We've got Tim Jim, Spider Hits question. I don't know. Let me know your question. Uh, Jake, hello, my friend, the Porker Collector. Oh, Funkified, that's who you got. You got the box. Yeah, oh, I got the uh, platinum from him. Sweet, sweet. It's you know, it's always kind of it's a lot of anxiety when you watch somebody open boxes. You sell. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I'm sure he'd be very happy for you to pull something. Uh, he Club would be good. Oh, he definitely would be. Uh, degenerate DNA going to be a good rip night i sure hope so abr right always be ripping i want to see deep lunges <laughs> <laughs> hey i can lunge with the best of them That's i i can't no lunges yeah. are a weakness of mine uh, you're definitely not getting any lunges tonight all <laughs> upper body <laughs> uh good luck from raj how's it going man uh, we got ghost here hanging out and we got a lot of friends here all right we'll get we'll get back to everybody else here in a minute but tell us what we're opening tonight ryan well we're gonna open um Losing count seven boxes of masterpieces Ooh. and three boxes of platinum. Awesome. And I might have some stuff to open. We'll see. We'll see how the night goes. Ooh, you're holding out on us. Well, I, well, yeah, I mean, it's nothing. It's not masterpieces or uh, platinum. So let's just go ahead and say that. <laughs> uh, so Ryan's got the rip cam here. Let's get that up and running. So do we there take you? a vote on what we open first or... Um... I mean, you so have, you have three you have and opinion? seven, right? You have three yep. and seven. Do we rotate back and forth? Do we just go all rotate. platinum to all? Do you do you do do you do platinum and then three uh, masterpieces and then a platinum box and then uh, three masterpieces platinum and then end with the last box of masterpieces? Is that good math? We can. We can I, I don't even know that I was following, but we can do it. <laughs> right. We're going to go with one box of platinum and then three boxes of, of masterpieces. Sounds Jason good. was following. I saw him. I was following. I could see the gears turning for Ryan. He was trying to figure it out. <laughs> I, know, I was hey, just like, Ryan, I'm you're just, just ready to machine. open. You're just a machine tonight. You're just ripping. Me and Jason will do the thinking. <laughs> All you need is finger strength. Don't worry about the lunges. Hey, that's exactly. Well, yeah. while, hey, uh, before, don't forget the core like while you're ripping. Since I have no self control, I will show you what came out of the other, the big hits from the other boxes. Oh, I okay. Won't go through all the, but this is the big hit from uh, the platinum box that I couldn't wait. 
That's a to open nice. a cosmic X Men variant cover. Man of the nice hour. card. Cyclops. And I did. Kang did convince me to open one box of masterpiece, even though I was trying to hold strong for tonight. I was good he box was such a bad influence. He is. He but was he only supposed to open one box last night, and he opened up all five. He's not very marvelous when he's in the <laughs> chat, when he's in the DMs. So, so I can't ban him for that. <laughs> he's technically outside of the group. But <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So we got Ooh. this in the box. Yeah. It was 90 of 99. What's up with you guys in Wolverine yeah. last night? I know. It's a theme. Man. And we got this. Holy nice. smokes. Hey, yeah. is that like your third one? <laughs> That's my se- so it would be the third one I'd I would own, but it was the second one I pulled. I actually okay. bought one a while back, but I've now pulled two of them. That's awesome. Good job. I'll pull as many Spider Mans as I can get. All right, so we're gonna start with platinum. All right, so I'm answering Tim Jim's question. He says, Am I still the first guy to get your autograph at Nationals? I don't know if you remember me. Of course I remember you, my friend. You got your email cards. Yeah. Um, you are definitely not only still the first guy to get my to ask my autograph, probably still the only one, I think. <laughs> no, wait, that is not true. I do remember one person whenever I was sending them something, they asked me to sign a card. Uh it, which is you know, first of all, I'm flattered and you know, don't even know how to take it, but uh um there's just so many other autos and signatures you can get. <laughs> do sign sketches count too, Justin? I think sign sketches do count technically. I was going to ask that question, but not in the same vein as uh, as him because he literally came to me and found me. He's like, <laughs> "Hey, not only do I want you to sign these, he he gave me Spider Man cards and had some to show me. Like it was, it, you know. So that was you have my you have my autograph. He asked for it. Uh, that's awesome. That, that's the difference. It was really a special moment for me. Justin, can I have your autograph? You, you can absolutely. <laughs> you just send right. a check, and I'll sign the back of it. <laughs> yes, I'll send that Spidey Gold Sig. <laughs> so there, there is a pattern here that I'm supposed to open these packs, right? Well, it depends on what side has got you know the uh, what do they what do they call them the dud packs and the stud packs. Okay. So I'm gonna go uh, right side you, first. Then if you start yeah, right side, here here's here's one. Well, so one case I had the right top was my auto all often. So just so up. I did open one box obviously as I showed you the hit mm-hmm. and that hit was the bottom left side. But most of the hits were on the left side though. Yeah. Then yeah. then that then if it's all this from the same case it should generally continue to follow the same. Yep. Okay. We'll find out. Yeah. Ryan, right. what are you hoping to pull out of platinum tonight? Uh uh black suit spidey. You know spidey it. hit yeah <laughs> you've got a lot of them though which number do you need i do i need oh, uh, hey, out of five lower, a little lower oh, sorry, give sorry, you sorry. i'm an there amateur i'm an amateur <laughs> all right we'll get you there you got a you got a good team upside down oh, upside down <laughs> upside down again <laughs> uh, we have our uh wondering bill here what's up man Ryan W. Okay, we're now at our Ryan limit. Uh, first, <laughs> Ryan, I mean, I've caught into Marvel cards going through platinum. Uh, he got into Marvel cards going through platinum. Well, uh, he's got a great name, so it's a great start. A good... <laughs> okay, uh, Ryan, we're really grateful you're here. There, there are a lot of Ryans in Marvel cards, so you're probably right where you're supposed to be. I think, I think there just needs to be a Ryan Marvel card Discord. Uh, <laughs> Start your own channel. Yeah. Only Ryan's. That's what you need to call it. Only Ryan's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, deep modes here or debt mode. How's it going? We're doing well. My dad's here. What's up, Pops? There you go. You're still awake. Yeah, late night. Yeah. Jason Tong says, let's go. Uh, the ripping. Yeah, absolutely. And... Yeah, we'll get to the MM, Jake. Be patient. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to it. I mean, truthfully, Jake, that's where I'm trying to get to as well. So I, I understand. Stay hydrated. That is a really good point. And I, I really, I went back into the house to get a water and somehow came out without it. 
I've got my water and my wow. Spidey Gwen glass. We're good to oh, go. Nice. Uh, Sandy wants to see Daredevil. And uh, Fungify says, uh, good luck, dude. Pull all the Spideys you <laughs> for you and the Ultrons for me. <laughs> he is a good Ultron he, character. Yeah, he is. He's waiting to see that one-on-one Ultron. Yeah. Our buddy Brian Stanley is in the chat. He was not able to join tonight, uh, but man, glad to hear hanging out. Ryan, you got something really special in today, didn't you? I did. I'll show it off here in a second. Oh, cool. I don't think I've you seen that yet. I want to see it. Oh, I sent a picture. He's not paying attention to me. I guess not. <laughs> Raj says he's waiting for EPAC. What do you think EPAC's going to be like for Platinum? Oh, it's going to well, be wild. For MM22 or for Platinum? <laughs> we're still <laughs> well, We're going to get Platinum before we get MM22. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know the answer to that. It's a joke. <laughs> Um, yeah, so do I, do I keep going that. on the right side or do I yeah. stop at the last pack? Well, so right. it's about the energy. It's about the energy. If you feel the energy dropping in the room, like me and Jason can't carry it, then you got to give us a hit. Oh, well, you see what I'm saying? We might as well just open it. But if the energy's up and you feel good about the energy, go ahead and get the dud packs out of the way. <laughs> and then let's roll on the other side. The research so is the whole the side, the dud pack. Uh oh, Spidey. Oh, I see it. Yeah, a little high on me. Spidey hit. There we go. By the way, somebody just sent me a photo of that Spidey, but in an orange auto. Oh, nice. I know. I know. It's such a good card. That's the Spidey, by the way. You know, I'm I'm collecting. Yep. Brian says Kang's boxes were wild. I voted for Ryan tonight, but uh, it would be impressive to beat Kang's boxes. Yeah, that, it would. At least he didn't pull, I mean, he had a box that had. Oh, I, <laughs> I was rooting yeah. for him to pull the other away. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. <laughs> this, this, come on, no, that's that can't happen. <laughs> you realize that, right? Yeah, but he used my name again to oh, get did? these boxes. <laughs> oh my! So God. if he would have pulled both OA cards using my name, he would have to give me. I know exactly. <laughs> <laughs> He would be under a severe obligation to give you one, or he would have to disappear, you know, like yeah. leave social media and move to Canada. If that worked a second time, I'd have to use your name to buy a lotto ticket. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Or apply for a job. I know Ryan. Uh, Jason says, Justin, uh, you draw sketch cards? Uh, he, the answer yes. is yes, but not like you know a real artist uh does you know like for marvel and stuff just for fun on your own cardstock on my own spidey hits cardstock that's right yeah. i really enjoy that i'll show I some share there. one i was like i can share one too <laughs> yep I, that's one of the things i've really enjoyed is just uh is, is giving them to my friends that's been that's been fun so I'm just kind of flying through the base. So sorry. And I'm probably giving away all the hits. Oh, no, you're good. Show us a little color. It's a tease. We got so many people here hanging out, guys. We got 76 people hanging out. There wow. we go. And don't forget, go check out Marvel Madness MCU's channel. Him and Brittany are live right now. This is normally a time where they're live, but we just had to do it at this time because of uh, schedule. Because I couldn't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan couldn't wait. That's for sure. Uh, we got a Spidey hit, brother, a blue track, 124 is instead of the blast. Good luck to y'all. Hey, that's a great card. I really enjoy it. Uh, I do think I have the blue tracks of the high series Spider-Man. I think I do have that one. Yeah, I just really love the variants so much. Mm -hmm. I'm such a sucker for variants in both that, Masterpieces and Platinum. That Magneto one of one uh, high, uh, cover variant is so good. Yeah, I love that they were so thoughtful about how they pulled in the first appearance comic books as the covers for the variant. I mean, there's just so much thought that went into this set. It's amazing. It really is. And and the hope is with the team that Upper Deck has assembled now that that this kind of thoughtfulness and intentionality is going to be the norm moving forward. You've got a guy who's really good at, um, at, at building or architecting sets, right? 
in the way it delivers the experience from the packs to the boxes uh, and, you know, from a collectability. And then also they've got a guy who's a comic book nerd who understands the lore, understands kind of the subtleties about what it would mean for us collectors who've been reading the comics and uh, for a long time, but also picking out good art that's, in, you know, impactful uh, as well. Yeah, Fausto's interview with TJ was incredible. He did an yeah, amazing job with that interview. And I could have listened to that all day. Just the amount of knowledge he has, it was just awesome. TJ, TJ and Grant Sandground, that is my goal to get them on the channel. And I'm so glad that Sketch did because because you guys got to see and hear, you know. The passion. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and I think that's what, you know, and I've said this to Upper Deck privately. It's like, hey, look, the, when there's, when you're not the one setting the narrative, then people set the narrative for you and people naturally fill the gaps with the most negative possible thing. <laughs> it's just a human, human nature. But, but if people get to see how, you know, you know, how much you guys actually understand the history of comics. Oh, okay. There we go. That doesn't look like a, uh, um, an out of 33. That might be an auto. It looks like it's going to be an auto, an orange auto. Is that what I'm Ooh, saying? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Right. Orange auto. Come on. Oh, okay. nice. Susie. Come go. Out of three. Oh. oh, the alpha. <laughs> yeah. Nice. There we go. I'm going to okay. sleeve that one up. Degenerate says, did Claremont sign the gambits in the set? And the answer is yes. Yes, there are gambit autos and they're signed by Claremont. That is true. Funk, you collecting this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Running back, having my name. For... Oh, I keep saying Jason, and Jason Tong keeps. Going. Yeah, Jason is another great Spider-Man collector, though. He is. Um, Leah, and I hope I, I think I'm saying that right. I hope I am. Says really liked your interview on YouTube channel, the Great Curator. Uh, I got to co-host for Dan, the Great Curator, while he was in, uh, I believe, in East Asia. Uh, with his other co-hosts, Merle. And I don't know if you, do you guys know the great curator of his channel? I learned about no. it through you. I watched when you were on about a week ago. It's great. Yeah. Video. Yeah. I thought, I thought that it, it was nice to be a guest and answer some of those questions. Um, you know, I do think we got to cover some important topics and it's worth to listen, but thank you, Leah. I appreciate that. I definitely think it's worth a listen. I found it highly educational. I mean, as much content as I've watched from you, I still learned a bunch of new stuff from that video. <laughs> yeah, I think it's different when people are drawing it out of you, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, so I thought that was really good. So are we, we going on? MM now or are we? Yeah, we're gonna, yeah that was okay. box yeah. one on Now me. three boxes of masterpieces. Okay. Three so you, boxes of masterpieces. You're going to start out with an alpha auto on card out of 25. So, oh. Yeah. What's next? Let's well, pull Spider-Man SSA tonight, Ryan. Come on. Uh, so, Jason, you make an interesting point because I, you know, I guess as, as the content creator, so to speak, I don't want to repeat myself over and over again because who wants to listen to that? And so I think sometimes I hold back a little bit because I feel like I've already said it too much. There's Gambit. Wait. Yeah. Is that it? I, I, oh. Wow. Just out of 25, right off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the two of 25. Yeah, we got almost. one of 25, now two of 25. Let's I got to go going. three. <laughs> yeah, let's go three, I'm telling you. Oh, I got to sleep. <laughs> it's a sign of good things to come. Come on. Hey, I know it's not a top character, but it's a great piece of art. Hey, it is a great piece of art. Yeah. I agree. And it's a case hit, right? It is. It's a good way to start. It is a good way to start. I mean, it's not Kang's first box, but <laughs> hey, it's we're, we're one pack in easy. <laughs> what was the number on Gambit, by the way? Uh, the number on Gambit was mm -hmm. uh, 479? 476. 76. Uh, Mike says, Hey, a Spidey. How's it going, dude? Hey. Are you looking for a certain number? I just always or like just that. Yeah. And I think, you know, as, as people who watch, you know, there's somebody out there who wanted to know too, you know. Yeah, Mike, it's a great set. Thank you, Ghost. RMS is rooting for you. He's got a great name too. 
Ryan. <laughs> We're already at our quota. <laughs> Justin's Ryan. kicking anyone else out that comes in with the name Ryan. <laughs> Is it, was it like the most popular name in America at one point or something? Yeah, my mom said she named me after uh, an actor, and I don't know much about him, but uh, Ryan O'Neill. I don't know if some of the other Ryans in this chat are named after Ryan O'Neill. haven't taken the time to learn about him, even though he's your <laughs> no. namesake? Your, na- <laughs> your namesake. <laughs> no, Wait, I haven't. Can you go watch the movie that inspired my name? <laughs> <laughs> It's one of those things like, do I want to really know or do yeah, I not yeah. want to know? What, what was your mom thinking? Where was your yeah. dad at when you got named? Yeah, I don't know where he was at. The bowling alley. <laughs> the bowling alley. Is he a bowler? <laughs> he was, yeah. Well, he, I mean, did it. Gotcha. Recreational, but. We got some We got some bowlers in the Underwood family tree. Like, when I say bowlers, I mean, like, legitimate 300. Oh, wow. Guys. Yeah, like. Like ranked nationally in their age group and all that kind of crap. Wow, that's intense. Yeah, I was in a drinking league in college where we where we bowled. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, does not bowl well for Kane is what Sweetie Schumer says. Uh, Kane did well. Yeah, he pulled a green too. Uh, Leah says, "I like how you put faith, family, and common sense finance before cardboard in that interview." The great curator. Uh, I, I don't know how else to do it, but thank you. Yeah, I think that's important. Well, I think we learned a little bit of that lesson in the hobby this week. We, you know, you yeah. find out that when there's people who continually put the cardboard ahead of ahead of relationships and people, you find out that it can get pretty wicked. And uh, it's a good way to guard your heart. You know, we love this stuff. We're passionate about it. We spend a lot of money on it, but it does never rank. What? Uh, hold on. Doesn't ever rank above the cardboard. However, <laughs> we have a blue. <laughs> we have a blue. <laughs> Interrupt this message with a blue. It's not a 49. It's not quite 25, but it's okay, Ryan. You're hey, yeah, we'll take it. Come on, be a Spidey. Oh, Thor. Oh, Thor. Hey, I like my women just a little on the fat and to the right side. <laughs> <laughs> That seems like a bigger problem with the blue ones. Maybe that's yeah. just me, but I feel like I've seen more blue that's, ones. That's easily off. a PSA four after my PSA five. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually just want to submit this one to see if it gets a six. No, <laughs> no. Just to outrank my Spidey, even though that was very <laughs> off center. And mine was not. It was yours was actually pretty well centered. Did you look at the back, Justin? Is there any sort of small indent or like a mark? On the back, like a surface issue. The photo that PSA looked made it look like there was a chunk out of the top, bro- top back around the center, but mm. in hand I don't see it in the mm. slab. But you know the way they, the, the way they seal it at the top, maybe it's hiding it a little bit. Uh, but I think it's a combination of when you put those masterpieces cards under the microscope, so to speak, those edges can actually be pretty chewed up. And I know one corner has like a chunk missing out of the side of it. Like instead of it being a sharp, sharp point, um, something, something got hit so bad that it didn't matter what the center <laughs> or edges were stuck with. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Like that. Hit. We pulled this, uh, this one out of the box that I opened with Kang. <laughs> like any hulks that you don't want, he'll buy. Okay. Competing with Enfiltrate if he ever shows back yeah. up again. Who? <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know that guy. If we removed him from our little group chat, do you think he would even notice? <laughs> might take him a week. <laughs> I was say that's what I was going to say. Is a week. <laughs> uh, we love Phil. Uh, Brian says, Justin, my wife Randy just asked if you ever sleep. <laughs> I do. I do sleep. No, not numbered. I can't ever tell what those. Uh, and, and and guys' wives normally don't ask if I sleep, but Brian, special attention here. Is she watching right now? <laughs> Is she watching with Brian? I guess so. He's got a sweet wife. But she she's really she's really sharp. She's really the one who runs that household. No, for sure. Yeah, mine runs my household. I was gonna say. Well. I think that's true for all of us. Yes, we can all confess that. Which oh, that is why we get to good. sit here and play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's running the house right now. 
Uh, Law loves the blink from this set. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they, yeah, they are. Let's see here. The friends from Australia. Sweet color match on the Thor. He, he's not wrong. The blue does look really good with the Thor, especially with those glowing eyes. It looks really good with a red suit can, in the middle. Can we talk about Deathbird just for a second? Yeah, without... for sure. Well, it's a, still pretty close to the release of the episode of X-Men 97. But uh, no, everybody go watch it. Go watch it. <laughs> Yawn. Kang, go to bed. Hey, shouldn't you be on here? <laughs> yeah, he should be. Is he, he, really now? he, no. he had to get a nap in. He just yawned. Uh, well, we missed an opportunity to highlight his OA, which is sitting in the background there. <laughs> that, right here? Or, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Save it for his OA. That's what you need to do. Uh, it is Lee. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Uh, How much do you guys like X Men 97? Are you are you doing a scale, Jason? Do a scale. Is it like I I have to confess I haven't even started it yet. I oh. want to watch it with my kids, and so I'm actually going to probably. All right, it was nice having Jason on, but <laughs> I was like, "Where'd he go?" <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's not card related. I should be good for that. <laughs> no, go ahead. No, you should watch it with your kids. That's a good idea. What were you saying? No, I was going to say, since they're releasing one per week and the last episode won't be out until next month, I yeah. figured it'd probably be better to sit down and wait until they're all out and I can watch them back to back with the kids. No, you should make it like we were when we were kids. You should put it on at exactly a specific time on Saturday morning and yeah. either they watch it or they never get to see it. <laughs> <laughs> or until some rerun in the future opportunity. That's a great idea. <laughs> This is what it's like. Can I go to the bathroom? No, or you'll miss it. <laughs> oh. What? Which, hey, what does that say? Drool? I think so. Okay. Okay. Can is that good. a good thing? Can be good. Oh. oh. oh yeah. You'll take that. That's cool. I'll take that. That is cool. We know oh. a Venom collector. Clutch coming in with the uh, super chat. He's got Goofy on the uh, thumbnail. Um, pretty cool. Thank you, uh, Clutch. He says, "Have a good evening. Nice. Good evening. Have a great weekend." But what? A I haven't great had great. much sketch luck. Yeah, that one is sick. That one is sick. I like that one. What's up, Lewis? <laughs> yeah, Jason said, "Didn't watch. Kick him out." <laughs> <laughs> Kane says he woke up all time. Hey, what's up, dude? He says, "Come jump on, King." Uh. He says, you know, if there will be a book made of Dan's MMR, it's a must buy. Yeah, it would be. And I can I I can't imagine Dan would pass up that money because <laughs> he's because we're all gonna buy it, that's for sure. I thought Dan himself said that he was having conversations about a book. Mm -hmm. Oh, for That'd sure. Be awesome. I think after people watched what Jesco did with the Kickstarter in terms of the mm -hmm. amount of money that backed it. A lot of artists had to immediately say, "Hey, yeah, I, I've got to do that." Yeah, we go in ninety-two, or uh, here I am, ninety-two masterpiece. We go in uh, masterpiece again. Or yep. we're doing we're, no. right. Yeah, we're doing that, three in a row. That's three in a row. Okay, all right. So how many box? Was that was that one box? That was one. Yep. Oh, that was one. Oh, that, that okay. That was a great box. Like I was going to say, a three-hit box. It stuck up on me. It did. Uh, Ron says, you can text Spidey at 6 a.m. and he's up responding. That, that is true. <laughs> it's, hey, at 6 a.m. somewhere. That's, that's all I got to say. Uh, Mike, enjoy work. I hope it's, uh, hope it's good to you. Yep, not gonna nice, do spoilers. Wonderful. Not gonna do spoilers. So here, so I've only watched one episode, which so I don't. I hope I don't get kicked off the stream for that, like mm. uh, Jason did. Well, I let him back in. I guess now I've kind of set the bar low. But, <laughs> but after watching one episode, I went back and I watched one episode of the '90s series. Mm. So far, I mean, it's only one episode in, but the '90s series is much better so far. <laughs> okay, okay. That's how I feel. 
And well, maybe I'm biased. Other Ryan says the 97 is a masterpiece so far. Ooh. And, oh, man, I wish we could talk openly about it. Um, <laughs> so I plan to get Eric and Julia Leewall back on the back on the stream soon. So there, I think everyone knows, but just in case you don't, they're the original showrunner and writers for X-Men, the animated series in the 90s. Uh, basically think of a showrunner as the director, right? And... Uh, you know, you're not directing people, so they call it a showrunner. But um, we've become such good friends that I now get a Christmas card from them with their family. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. <laughs> like, with their, they, they have two really tall sons. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> and, uh, and we actually exchanged a little Christmas present. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, that's all, that's all relevant, though. I mean, you thought I was tall, so how tall are we talking here, Justin? <laughs> <laughs> I've stood next to him. And he's he's a solid six foot, and they make it. They make their dad look small. Nice. Yeah. What do we got? Is that orange? It looks orange. Oh, lizard. Oh, lizard. Yes, man. Alonzo, how's it going, my friend? What's the um, number on that one, Ryan? It is ninety of ninety nine. All right. Uh, yeah, that was Goofy Son, and I was debating whether I should say this, like where it would live forever on the internet. But like when my oldest daughter was really small, she had a crush on Goofy Son. Oh. <laughs> you know, but she was like four, three, whatever. Uh, who's the character on the sketch card? <laughs> Venom Collector. <laughs> <laughs> you get one guess. He, he earlier it was mentioned that you got to. Episode five. You gotta wait, just wait until episode five. Yeah. Rod said he was able to get his dad to watch the first two episodes with him. Nice. What's up, dude? How's it going? Having a good time in our ripathon here. That's right. <laughs> Joe just still going through this. Entire generations of kids grew up with crutches on Lola Bunny. <laughs> they're, they're uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I never thought about the connection. <laughs> You're probably not wrong. <laughs> Do you remember the movie that had uh, Brad Pitt in it, where he would, where he was in a world that was animated too? It was called Real World or Cool World? No, I missed that one. I did too. All right, Chad, help me out. I think it was called Cool World. Brad Pitt was in it, and he got sucked into an animated world. It was like Roger Rabbit. Oh, do we have a tier, tier four here? Oh, it's all cool What's world. It? There we go. Is Does that, that mean another T force to follow? Yeah. Can I get a double T four like Kane? Well, Kane's got, is he not going to put his face on? Kane, are we only getting your voice? <laughs> is he even still in chatter? Did he fall back? Oh, he, he, he I'm walking Gambit at the moment. <laughs> he said what? He's walking oh, gambit at he's the moment. Walking. Well, I guess he hasn't seen episode five. I've seen episode five. Okay, don't say anything else. You can't talk about it. <laughs> Wait, how many of us have pets named after superheroes? Um, <laughs> my, I just, my dog's I just name named is Max. After so. a oh, we <laughs> also like uh, like Cool World. We have a Bernice Mountain Dog named Logan. Oh, cool. Mm. I'm like you, Justin. When I was a kid, it was Spider-Man 1A, Wolverine 1B. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Very original. 100%. It honestly feels weird for me to, to like suppress my love for Wolverine. You know, but what do you do? I was actually a Cyclop, Cyclops fan growing up from because of the cartoon. Wait a minute. Because of the cartoon? Yeah. I didn't think anybody he was the, liked him because of the cartoon. He was the leader of the group. He was the jerk. <laughs> he, <laughs> someone had to take charge. Jeez. Someone had to be in control. <laughs> That's my favorite part. I have a lady who's over compliance in our company, and I love calling her and going, Jean! Is <laughs> over that her actual here. name? Yeah, her name is oh, G-E-A-N. Nice. And and I'll even I, I just recently sent her the uh, YouTube clip. That is just Cyclops saying Gene over and over again. 
Ryan, we've got to see if you can pull a T3 variant. The last entire case you opened didn't have a single. Oh, it's crazy. And that, you know, Kang's hits were ridiculous, but he pulled a ton of T3 variants Did last really? night. Yeah, a ton. So like, he can help me finish my binder set? Probably. I mean, he pulled, I'm going to guess, at least eight T3 variants <laughs> oh, last on. night. He pulled a Gwen, he pulled a Miles, he pulled a Scarlet Witch. I mean, there's more, but I'm I think not a <laughs> yeah. I'll double check when I get home. It was like every box had a couple T3 variants in it. Sandy says she's uh, checked out Marvel Madness's YouTube channel. He's live right now. Everybody go check it out. Uh, they're opening up 95 Flare. Awesome cards. By the way, still one of the few boxes of Marvel cards that I have yet to open on the channel. Really? Mm -hmm. They're getting pretty hefty. I, I still I still need one for my uh, for my PC. I'm missing one of those. So that's the problem. I have those sets, like a plethora of those cards, and it makes it really hard to pay four hundred and twenty five dollars for a steel box. And I'm yeah. just going to open to get more of what I already have. But I really do want to open one on the channel. Do those ones brick, or are they pretty clean? I think they they're they have a glossiness to them. So I yeah, they're all individually wrapped inside the pack. Yeah, I would imagine they're okay. But it, it's if it's anything like the 94 Flare, those, uh, man, those took forever to open. I opened two boxes of 92 mm a year ago, and yeah. they were destroyed. The worst oh, yeah. thing I've ever seen before. I tried to expose them to humidity. I tried every trick in the book. I fought with those for probably a week. And somehow I salvaged uh, like three tens out of it. <laughs> oh, wow. It was Hold on, 92 masterpieces? Yeah. What okay. characters? The tens were Mephisto and uh, I think Cap. And I forget what the third one was. Oh, we got a oh. red one. Whoa. Is it a red spectrum? Uh, can you it is. Hold it down. Hold it down a little bit. Oh, sorry. Battle Spectre. Silver Surfer. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah. There we go. Nice. That's a great hit. Where's Fausto when you need him? Hey, he actually got a link to the stream tonight. He said he'd be right back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> He's like, yes, yeah, I'd love to do that. And where's he at? Not here. <laughs> love him. Love him anyways, though. We always give him a hard time on the Marvel card claim sales <laughs> because he does the same thing. Who's getting voted off here? <laughs> oh. Oh. Ooh, ooh. That's a tough one. Or does this one get voted off? No. You got to keep Kang's OA in the background because he's here now. <laughs> so, maybe one of the Dang. other four. Perfectly centered. <laughs> Golly. I think he – do you have more stands? <laughs> I could go get more stands. <laughs> All right, um, strange. Maybe eternity, I guess. Yeah, Doctor Strange is two hundred and fifty of those. Let's, let's okay. Be, I hate to say it because okay. it's such great art. It is a tier four, but it is a great art. Yeah, people are saying strange. We got we got strange. Strange has been We're voted off. The community vote every time. Okay, I, I like so, it. So people that watch the channel know that I'm not a fan of uh Improving trading cards for grading. <laughs> <laughs> I just, it sounds icky, you know? But did you see where um, PSA uh, supposedly, you know, fact check this, people redacted a grade that they put on a uh, Mickey Mantle card? Yeah. That do, you, do you know why? Because they, because they removed stains by soaking the card using. Kurt's card cleaning mm -hmm. technique. Yeah, Neo put out a great video on that today, so everybody should go check that out. Oh, yeah. Go uh, check that out. Uh, but, and and just know that if it's me, I do not want the card to improve out once it's out of the pack. <laughs> what's interesting game. is I mean, Neo makes you, a really You good showed that. Video, but <laughs> PSA can't detect this. The only reason they banned that cert is because somebody did a YouTube video bragging about how they cleaned the card and submitted it and got a great bump. So they were able to take that cert and block it, but they had no idea that it was clean when it actually came through the grading room. Oh, oh, I think he was in the room with PSA 
and was recording himself. That was a different average. one. That was oh, the, that was a different Wimbin. one. That yeah. was the one of one Victor Wimbin Yamaha, oh, and he just gave a shout out. I think he said big thanks to Kurt. Yeah, for... <laughs> yeah, but this the mantle was a completely different issue because he, he actually showed the process from the submission as well. Man, that's all right. That was box two. Are we uh, another MM? Okay, yep. Set yep. three the MM. Yep, definitely got to have three. Wasn't sure if anyone changed their mind. At least six more to go. <laughs> we're gonna so yep. Kang, I don't know if you, you call it. We're gonna do a box of platinum, three masters, box of platinum, three masters, box of platinum, in with the masters. <laughs> it took us a few minutes <laughs> to figure out that math. So we got <laughs> and by us, you mean Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Ron's it's easier when you have it in hand to do the math. Asking, what am I doing next? No, actually, I was the one who couldn't do the math. <laughs> uh, Leah says that she purchased a box of 92 masterpieces and it was bad. Cards were bricked, not a single card worth grading. So, and I said she, Leah, you, you may not be a she, but it's a pretty name, so I'm going to say she. Real quick, I'll show off my mail day real quick. Oh, oh. That is Two and ten. Card. It is a beautiful card. That's so good that you got that. Oh, Kang, are you going to echo? There yeah. we go. He just oh. disappeared again. <laughs> You're creating a lot of work for me, Kang. Sorry. <laughs> We're glad you here. Bro. So I don't feel any sleeves in this one. Okay. You don't. Yeah, which is a good sign. What's that mean? It usually means there's a tier four in there. Yep. Oh. Are we comparing the first five boxes? Um, we've lost count. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lonzo says he's still waiting to see a Moon Knight auto or a plate get. Jason, going. there you go. There's your T three variant. T three variant. Not the one Brian needs, and he's probably asleep now. He hasn't said anything in the chat for a while. Brian. So I bought a a box of 92 masterpieces and it was it, it wasn't as bad as 93 masterpieces that was the worst experience I've ever had with bricking. Uh 94 Fleur Ultra X-Men not a great experience. The uh but I bought a 10 92 masterpieces 10 and when I opened it up you would think those cards would be protected in there but like yes that 10 Virtually every corner on one side had been damaged in the team. Oh, no. Oh, like, wow. I don't know if somebody, like, shook it or something. Oh, so upsetting. Wow. Those are not cheap either. Yeah. I purchased my 92 Masterpieces fighting in the PSA 10, and I'm happy to not have to think about it. Yeah. Sometimes it's worth to just pay the premium as opposed to trying to pull and grade like 10 copies to get a 10. <laughs> yep. Is this, is this a beast? Yeah, that's a beast. Yeah. It's like, okay. Is there a spidey? No, it's a I know. <laughs> it's a good that thing. happened to me yesterday. <laughs> but this is another T3 variant, right? Is beast yep. T3? It's yep. going to be, it's going to be a great box. That's what that means, huh? I like the direction that it's going. Since EPAC hasn't come out yet, all of our binder sets have stalled out. So Ryan's DMs are going to get blown up tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I've got plenty of extra. I can tell you that much. Too much extra. Ooh, somebody pulled a Dark Phoenix printing plate. The Ooh. only one a thousand, but it is gorgeous. <laughs> For wow. MM22 or Platinum? Uh, the blue one, I saw it earlier. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. Speaking of... Look at oh, that. we got it. We got a gems. <laughs> oh, I know what that is. It's a good one too. Hey, it is a good one. Hey, you're oh, that's good real nice. Fourteen to ninety-nine. All right. Does it go on the mantle? Uh, ooh, that's a good question. It it's a better card than et uh, the eternity, I think. But the, but what's chat think? Eternity's out of 25. All right. What do we think, chat? What card gets removed? We could only keep five up. Yeah, I just recounted it's five. 
I feel like it's better than the Silver Surfer and Galactus. What? <laughs> that one's out. Of 50. That one's out of uh, fifty, isn't it? But no, that the Silver Surfer's out of fifty. The yeah. Rogue's out of ninety-nine. Yeah, that's what Jake I mean. Jake says bye to Thor. Bump Eternity says Law. Thor says Ghost. But the Rogue and Mystique is so beautiful. It is beautiful. All right, All right. going once, going twice. Goodbye, Eternity. I heard more Thors. No, I heard more Thors too. I did too. <laughs> Come on, somebody speak up. All right, Thors, Thors it is. is. Oh, oh Brian says tied. Eternity. Brian, yeah. you got to be here live for your vote to count. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ryan, you decide. All right, by all, all center, center, that's a Thor. Thor. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That that sounds a lot better. Eternity has depth. <laughs> it does. Well, it looks good we'll back do, there. We'll do something fun here in a second. So that means we still got our T4 in here. Yep. I'll take BSGs all day. Teal, red, whatever color they want to give me. Uh, how about gold? I do want to point out your first box was a three hitter, so that was really nice. It was a three hit. Oh, because of the green. Yeah, yep. off to a good start. Yep. What we really need to do is pull a Sauron for King. Uh, I did that yesterday. Nice. And I pulled uh, orange mojo nice. and a base mojo. That's going to him as well. King, I've been looking for Sauron original art to be able to trade you for your OA when you get it in. <laughs> do, do you guys remember that the the contest that Dan held on his Patreon was for a like really rough preliminary right. Sauron sketch? Yes, I do remember that. Orange Hulk. What's the number on it? It's uh, twelve of ninety nine. Twelve of ninety nine. I like it. All right, you got how many packs left? Three in this box. Uh, no, I got a whole whole bunch. Four, seven. Clark says, if anyone has some non-numbered colored rainbow Cyclops for platinum, I am looking for them. I suspect between me, Ryan, and Brian in the chat, <laughs> <laughs> we have a few. Yeah, I would agree. Opened a few boxes. Jason, how many did you open? I've only opened two, and one of them was a dud box. I didn't get my hit, yeah. so I had to email Upper Deck. And then I've bought into probably five case breaks for Ghost Spider and didn't get a single numbered card out of any of them. Oh, my gosh. Ghost Spider has been a tough pull. <laughs> she has been. Save it for EPAC. Another Hulk? No, Juggernaut. Speaking of Ryan's, yeah, <laughs> I sure do he message has in the Discord. Line. Yeah, clutch Mes message uh, Brian Stanley in the Discord. He is the platinum collector. That's what I hear. It's impressive. Platinum's been a big hit, guys. But we're has. not done this year. I really We're enjoyed it. It's going to be interesting to see how the rest of the product gets responded to. Uh, <sighs> Oh, there's so back. much. Yeah, it really is. Oops. Another tier three. Now, what what is next? Flare, Flare, Marvel Flare, uh, which would last uh, released in 2019. Okay. Another original art set with tiering. Uh, you know, not unlike masterpieces. Uh, it's it is like masterpieces in some sense because it's original art and. If they do it the same way they did in 2019, it had tiering all the way up to tier six. Ooh. Um, and the autos in it were numbered to 30 with no parallel of the auto. Wow. You know, of course, they may mix it up this time and not be the same. Uh, but it was only nine packs per box. Uh, and I don't know if this, I, they may, it, it probably says it on the sales sheet, but I just can't remember it on how many packs it's going to be. Uh, but then you're going to have Avengers Metal uh, or Marvel Metal. Universe Avengers, I think is what they're technically calling it, which I think is going to be. Oh, is that another uh, Spidey battle special? Yeah. Um, it's hard to think it's going to be more enjoyable than Platinum. 
how do I say this? It's probably not going to be more enjoyable than platinum because platinum has such a good entry price coming into it. It did. Uh, uh, Metal Avengers is already over two hundred dollars a box and it hasn't released yet. Yeah. Um, and when people see PMGs, prices can get kind of nuts, and I expect that will happen because we we are who we are. Um, is that a tier four? <laughs> it is. It's going to be. <laughs> oh, and a gold sig. Wait a minute. That means you're going to get. Did you already pull no. a tier four gold no. sig out of this box? No, we hadn't pulled his battle spectrum yet. Yeah, we did. It's this oh, one. it's the same box. Yeah. Gosh, you're going slow. It, like am feel. I moving too slow? I know. <laughs> I have a feel in you tonight. <laughs> I don't think this one makes. I don't think this one makes. No, it, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay. You, you can't take down Doctor Strange and put up. I mean, we may be making the set tonight. Yeah, let's do it. I'd love to see. Yeah, it. We, get, we got three. Yeah, you got three, one per box. That's three of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but Avengers Metal, I think, is going to be. Possibly a hit, possibly yeah. a pretty strong hit, and then and then you got Fleer Ultra Wolverine, um, and I'm hoping that by the time they release Fleer Ultra Wolverine, that Upper Deck is basically caught up from the backlog, uh, so it's not coming so hot and heavy, and it will have a little bit more spacing for product. So. Avengers Metal team. could get really crazy because TJ said that it's going to include every character that has ever been in an Avenger. I mean, if they really wanted to, they could put Wolverine PMGs in the set and like it could get pretty crazy pretty quick. Oh, that means, <laughs> oh my gosh. He said that on the Falsos? Yeah. Okay, I, got, I missed that part. He did. Oh my gosh. All uh, right, I got to open the box of Platinum now. Yep, yep. Justin. Let's run a giveaway. No way. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Okay. We're giving this one away. Um, it's going to be hashtag Kang. <laughs> with an H. <laughs> That's hilarious. Just wheel that OA into existence. <laughs> All right. Give me a second to get it going. And he's just on mute taking it right now. <laughs> he can't. He has no choice. He exactly. He's not here to defend he does, himself. He, he can't allow the uh, the karma to get really bad. <laughs> okay. I think Ryan is the most generous person I know in the hobby, man. Always doing these awesome giveaways. He Always is. giving people cards. I was hey, when I was going about through. The community and me. I know, but Ryan, to, to Jason's point, when I was going through uh, uh, doing my accounting for my taxes, and I was going through my Venmo, and I was like, why is Ryan giving me money? And then I remembered, you gave away money one night on the stream. <laughs> I did. I, and I did. didn't know you like I do now at the time. You are just I this did. cool guy in the chat. <laughs> I was like, it was I count that as income? I was like, <laughs> do I have to pay taxes on Ryan's charity? <laughs> It was for like your one year, uh, yes. uh, you and uh, Manu. Yeah, me and Manu. Yes, it was. Yep. And I really appreciate that. You're very kind. <laughs> I miss that show. You guys got to find a special I, edition and bring it back. Hey, I when, completely when I, agree. When, when stop, things slow down for you, please bring that back. Yeah, when I stop dancing, and I don't know how when that'll be because, you know, I'm, I'll be 41 in September. So I'm I'm just going to do it till I, my wife tells me I can't do it anymore. My body tells me I can't. But, uh, Anyway, uh, so but but when that happens, yeah, I'd love to bring that show back. This is a lot of fun. Uh, in so fact, I'll, I'll, oh, go ahead. I was gonna say I'll I'll keep opening, um, and we'll let it. Yeah, let build that marinate. Yeah. Hashtag Kang for the so giveaway. the giveaway is this hashtag Kang for the well centered Thor. Mm -hmm. And what number is it? It is. 27 out of 49. All right. Cool. So uh, speaking of speaking of dancing, something really cool happened yesterday when I discovered I got nominated for, uh, I think that I, I may get the title wrong, so forgive me, but uh, for basically volunteer of the year for the uh, Northeast Louisiana Arts uh, because of the efforts that I've put into dancing in the last year. That's awesome. Congrats. That is awesome. I immediately cried. I was like, I don't care if I win. Just the idea of getting nominated was really special. Uh, yeah, to go from never dancing 
to the, to that role is just incredible. Yeah, it's been been nuts. Say yes to some something that scares you. That's you never know the you know the relationships and the opportunities it's created. It's been 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 great. That was me the la the first time I came on your channel last December. And look yeah, where it's like. You were kind of yeah, you were kind of a private collector type guy. I was. I was mostly building my collection through eBay and just doing my own thing and trying to do it on my own. And I was certainly in your Discord and would chat to people, but it was mostly just right. answering questions. And then when I came on your channel, that's when all of the doors opened. And now I'm into OA and have built so many <laughs> great friendships like you and Ryan and Kang. And oh, well, you have to show yeah. off the OA. Yeah, we no, he, wow. he's going to. So, all right, full disclosure, earlier I said, Ryan, you got something special earlier today that you're going to share. I really meant to say Jason, but then <laughs> you were like, yes, I did. And I was like, okay, I just pretend <laughs> I meant to say Ryan. <laughs> but I was really thinking of Jason at that point. <laughs> so, yes, he does. I do want people to see that. It would be great. But uh, let's take a moment and thank Norke, because Norke is really the reason Jason came on. And, That's great. Uh, and, and she's doing well. Uh, we're very, very grateful for that uh, right now. So, but yeah, that if we're no, happy to hear that. Yeah, prayers up for Norke for sure. Amen. And Jason, you were the one who uh, pulled two sketches out of the anime yeah. box, right? That's right. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's right. <laughs> that is right. Okay, we're going to do a little show and tell after this box, uh, and then we'll get into the masterpieces. Ooh, black, black cat. Yeah, that looks nice. Uh, hashtag Kang. Ryan, you are a legend. Thanks for the giveaway. He is a legend. That is 100%. Man, I'm such a sucker for comic cover cards, too. <laughs> it's like yeah, okay. variant cards and comic cover cards. I'm, I'm such a sucker. Mr. Chuck, I want to be you at 71. Uh, JoJo says, say yes to something that scares you. I guess I'll have to take that guy up on skydiving without a parachute. <laughs> As long as it doesn't kill you, even if it feels like well, it. It'd be the last thing that scares you. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yeah. Just stick the landing, my friend. <laughs> Has King entered the King drawing yet? <laughs> you know, he's too good for it. If it's not Wait. LA, he doesn't. Yeah. Whoa, is that a cosmic? Is, is that a cosmic? Yeah. I'm on know. the right hold, side. Hold it down. Hold it down a little bit. Oh, I think sorry. it's a rainbow. That's a purple. That's a purple. Oh, the one behind no, it. No, but there's something behind it that looks. Oh, yeah. That was cool. Oh. But it's. No. Uh, it's a spider. No, but spider. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that tricked me. I was like, sorry. I, I I ran into a friend as I'm walking down it. So. <laughs> you have to walk away from me. Your friends are here, Kay. What are you talking at about? Midnight? <laughs> Wait a at midnight. At okay. midnight. <laughs> okay. Is it, what kind of. Yeah. What kind of friend is this? Uh, they also have a dog in there walking their dog one last time before the day is over. You guys walk your dogs at very weird times. What's the name of their dog? Rogue? Normally they. <laughs> it's like a nice midnight walk. What do you mean? You don't do this? Nope. Do not normally walk my dog during the day. <laughs> I have a my dog can walk. I have a little Havanese dog, so he needs to go like four times a day, so. Uh, Leah says, anyone notice centering problems with Marvel Platinum, especially with the color parallels? I've noticed some. I wouldn't so, say it's been it's yeah fun. I've noticed top to bottom centering worse than left to right in Platinum. Yeah, but I'm seeing a ton of 10s coming through on yeah. the ones that have been graded so far. Yeah. But remember, we only, well, when it's early like this, that's all people show us. The, that's they true. probably send them all to Kurt before they get to PSA, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Justin, you're going to get in trouble. I am. <laughs> Look, I, I've been talking to a friend of mine, um, you know, who's who's really wants the hobby to do well and grow and that kind of stuff. And, and you know, and, and, and they kind of, I think they have some thoughts about there being a place for this. And I don't want to miss this card here. But, uh, yeah, Spidey, hold on, just pause just for a second. Um, it's just that if you're, if you're, I don't know, overly prepping the card, what's the, <laughs> what's the proper terminology that, that, I don't know what it is. Cleaning. Just, can you disclose Massaging. it? Can you disclose it? Hey, I got a PSA 10, but I applied the, you know, the cleaning, you know, of Kurtz to the card or something like, 
I, I, I would not like buying a PSA 10 that was cleaned and didn't, and didn't know it like at all, especially if it was like a 92 masterpieces. Cause the, the reason you're paying hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars is it's not supposed to happen. Like right. it shouldn't exist after 30 something years. It's supposed to be rare. Yeah. <laughs> and hard to achieve. Right. Okay. Go ahead. I need this in the magic, by the way, just in case. I'm doing my best. <laughs> Blame Funk if I don't get it. Okay. Oh, Green Crackle. Is uh huh. Hey, oh, that is not terrible. No. Iron Man's been oddly hot in this set. It, yeah. 28 and 99. Man, I'm sorry. Uh, but there there are people getting boxes in Australia. Um, maybe not in like stores, which I totally get. Uh, but Cherry Collectible um, has obviously opened a ton of boxes because he's got a ton of singles on his website. And he's out of Australia. And then Pop Culture. Um, they, you... they haven't post, posted Platinum yet, but they had yeah. M.M. Uh, so Joe Joy says that's not Iron Man. Isn't that in that Centurion or um, is it Centurion Iron Man? What do they call it? That suit, Century, uh, the Century suit. I think is what they call it. Well, it says the appearance in the bottom left on the card, doesn't it? Yeah, let's take a look at that. It does. If I can get it to focus. No, I'm not going to be able to. Nope. It says Iron Watch Man, nineteen sixty eight two twenty eight. Um. Wow. Are they saying that the boxes at Cherry Collectibles are five hundred dollars? So I mean, well, one I don't know if they're that expensive, but um, mm -hmm. that's in the Australian dollar, which yeah. converts to less than the U.S. dollar. That that makes more sense. That because sense. I can tell you to. Let me see. Got it here. I bought this from Cherry's Collectible. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I got something I bought from Cherry Collectible too. And this was one thirty nine in U.S. dollars. I think it was one ninety nine on their site, but it converted to one thirty nine, which is way cheaper than anything that I saw on eBay. Yeah. Uh, Reeks, and it got here yeah. fast. Yeah, they did. The shipping was incredibly fast. Yeah. Reek says, Justin, how do you feel about the aspect of pressing comics and such for better grades since we're on the topic of car cleaning? Uh, I think it's different. Um, you know, it's, I don't think it's the same as cards, to be honest with you. But at the very least, uh, the, you know, that market and community, you know, widely accepts it. And the, you know, and the, and apparently in the grading process, there's an ability to, to, to understand if the book was altered more easily maybe than with cards. But, you know, you can't soak a comic book to get the stains out. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, um, and I'm not really the best guy to be asking that because I'm not, I'm not a grader uh, or uh, at that level by any stretch. I'm just giving you my gut punch feeling, which is I just don't want the card to improve after coming out of the pack. At least, especially from, you know, that kind of effort. Okay. <laughs> Wondering Bill says people do soak comic books now. It's a mess. Uh, I'm just going to buy a roll. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, you got to get, get them exposed to humidity Ooh. to press them in the first place. Pretty. I'm sure you have this one already. So, is yellow spotlight? No, it's just the, the yellow just the yellow let's see here i should but i actually have a photo to tell me these things brian does brian need this one i literally just sent him one this week okay. oh you did yeah <laughs> i'm sure he already had it but i included it in another package well i'm gonna actually i'm gonna include it in this package hey, uh, this up. ryan i get i own oh, my package that one in the middle yep what no way. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Let I me get it, it sleeved up here. It's it's because I was like, I'm not buying that. I know one of my friends is going to pull. <laughs> <laughs> it's too easy to pull. 
That's why you had me on. But I also need the yellow spotlight. Yes, that's it. always for you to give stuff away <laughs> and pull cards I need. It has nothing to do with your jawline. And being <laughs> All right, let's All see. All right, here. there you go. Jason Morales. Oh, thank you so much. Hey, great name. Yeah. <laughs> There's a few of us in the chat now. Not as good as Ryan, but. <laughs> well, well, he's also a Spidey fan. So he says, I've been collecting Marvel cards for about two months as well. I am a huge Spidey fan. Right. He, he's just a, a such a great character to collect. Leah says, got a Venom and High Series Carnage in, in Green Crackles. Those are great cards to pull. Oh, that is a great card. Uh, Jason says, been having fun breaking boxes and watching you guys break boxes. Well, we're really glad that you enjoyed it, my friend. You might have to put it on camera so we can watch. I say break it here. Brian says he got the package. Hey, Thank you got you. it. Awesome. What's up, Logical? How's it going? All right. Last pack. See what it's all about. Ooh, Law says he still has the yellow spotlight. You just need to know where to send it. Uh, I will. I will send you my address. But let me know what you need for it. I only let Ryan give me free stuff. <laughs> How many packs do you have left in this box? Is that That's our, gonna be an, be an auto. This right? is the last one. This, this is, is the last one. This is the hit. Who's it gonna be? Oh, <laughs> tombstone. That is definitely not gonna be making the mantle. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's let's admire this auto for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Any tombstone oh. collectors in chat? There's got to be one. There's got to be one. For it sure. surprises me how many character collectors there are that collect some pretty cool, obscure characters like this. It 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 makes a lot of sense to do it, you know. It's a uh, lot cheaper. That's for sure. It's a, a lot cheaper. cheaper. <laughs> it's gotta be a lot more fun and cheaper, better than Venom <laughs> or Gwen. Yep. Yep. All right, Ryan. Remember the math. I do, but you're up. You got something to show off. Are you saying Wonder Man isn't mainstream? He will be after he gets his movie, right? <laughs> Are you going to show off? I think Justin had something to show too, didn't oh, he? Oh, I did. I did. Uh, but let's do Jason first. because that's. The I got to go back and get it. It's on the wall. Oh, okay. well, I'll go, I'll go behind me. Oh, it's on the wall behind yeah. you. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, I see it hanging up there. All right. <laughs> so well, I'm going to go, go get it off the wall. Here. All right. I'll go grab it. You go grab it and I'll... Uh, I'll get set up too here. I'm gonna go grab something that I that's pretty unique. Sweet. Ah, knocked over sketch. Take this out. So, first thing I'll show that I got I got this for Dustin, my twin, who's a Gambit collector. I uh, was really surprised this even sat online very long, but. Let me turn on some light here. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Really is. The printing plate for Gambit. The storm on the cover. That's awesome. First appearance. So it's yellow, but I think it still looks really good. Yeah, that's a great one. Yeah. I love that they chose his first appearance. I do too. As well. Mm -hmm. I was just going to show this. This is uh, from FPG. This oh, is looks the, good. The metal card. Oh, yeah. It really does look really good. <clears throat> it really does. The pictures don't do it justice. Oh, it doesn't. And they're numbered. So this is 1283 out of 2000. So if you're, you know, a character collector or a masterpiece collector, I think this is a must have into the collection. Um, have you seen the, have you seen the silver Spidey? No, that's on eBay. I've only seen the bronze one. Well, no. So they have a they have a solid silver. The whole bar is all silver. It's listed for eight grand right now on oh. on eBay. But there's a there's a one of one gold, solid gold. That's fifteen thousand dollars worth of gold just wow. in the gold value alone. That somebody's going to get. 
<laughs> from FPG. That's crazy. I mean, Kang could list it at his price of 15 k It'll be fair pricing at that point. Yeah, somebody was asking about my sketches, like, here's my carnage. I got one of those. Let me grab. Oh, I put it in my binder, actually, I think. This was going to my friend uh, Ian. Cards and metal. He's a, he gets all my carnages. There's a Wolverine here. You did that one? The Wolverine, yeah. yeah. He just turns them out like nothing. I know. That's really yeah. good. Yeah, thank you. And then uh then this gambit's going to my brother. That one might be my favorite. I just love the aesthetic on that. Oh okay. yeah. Yeah, uh, and this was before he was a topic of conversation of re recent activities. <laughs> so, but Dustin will get that one. I and mean, this is not my first surfer, but wow, that's incredible! Silver surfer here. It's my second surfer. Super talented. That yeah. Not my not my venom. <laughs> I was going to say, did you do that venom in the middle too? <laughs> no, this is, this is actually one of the greatest artists on the planet, David yeah. Finch. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Uh yeah, it really is good. So he he did that at OAX. Okay, uh, but speaking of sketches, oh. there's platinum sketch from artist uh, Casey Parson, who's an artist in the set. Look at the year that's written on that. Twenty two. Twenty two. Wow. We had to hold this and not sell it for that long. Shows you how long they've been working on it. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then this one. That's so good. That's amazing. Isn't it really good? It's so good. I mean, as a as a a, a fan of Spider Man sketches, and there are, there's a lot of them. Yeah, there are. There's a lot of not good ones. <laughs> uh, there's some really great ones. Don't get me wrong, but the eyes. The, the webbing, look at how clean that webbing is. It's beautiful. And then you get the webbing. That is a beautiful card. Too. I love that it has a horror. Like, yeah. yeah. Definitely has a little bit of horror. And uh, so that, so, but they make just a great pair too. Yeah, they do for sure. And, uh, you know, and I, I know you guys, we've talked about it, but just for the sake of the channel, these have AP written on them. So, uh, what Upper Deck does is when they send an artist sketches to do for the product, their payment is like five or seven dollars a card plus APs. And uh, we've been able to ask the seven, there's only seven artists to sketches for the entire set. There's a, a hundred ish or less sketches for the that's in the product, like in the packs. Um, and then we've, we've talked to the artists and found out, you know, how many APs they did. And there's probably less than 20. Wow. That's super rare. And that so is. these are these are more rare than the uh, than the pack pull sketches. But these have to be approved by Upper Deck. So these are considered a part of the checklist and part of the set. Um, and you know, a lot of collectors would say, you know, if you're collecting sketches from the set, you gotta have an AP and a non and a pack pull, right? But uh, so I feel very fortunate, and I actually have a third one on the way. So I'll have three. Oh, wow. Everything works out. Three of the uh, 20. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. But that's nothing compared to what our buddy Ryan has here. Uh, Jason has. Nope, it Jason. <laughs> I've got a sketch card as well. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah. See if we can hold this up here. I showed this off on Lewis's channel when I first got it from Dave. But it just came back from the framer today and was hanging it on the wall. So when we started this it's so big. It's huge. It's 18 by 24. Wow. Which is massive for original art of a Marvel card. So Ryan and Kang, now now me and Jason on Palumbo original art, but <laughs> yeah. So I guess we're up. One yeah, of the things yeah. I talked about before is I'm usually a minimalist. Like I don't like a lot of colors. I'm, I'm usually just like gray and black and dark blue. 
Um, and I don't really get too crazy with things. It's kind of simplistic around here, but I really felt like this piece needed something more. And I wanted an aesthetic that was super elegant, but playful, yeah. just like Gwen is. And so we tried with a number of different like colors and treatments. And luckily these three frames fit together. And you it, dude. I wanted to you did. Pay homage to the rainbow parallels that are in platinum. Oh yeah. She has oh. 31. Oh, it does have colors. that feel. And so I call this my aquamarine rainbow one of one. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. I love that it. is awesome. Yeah. So hopefully you pull one tonight, Ryan. We haven't even seen it yet. No, we haven't. We only got one more box. Gosh. If we don't, we blame Funk sitting in this chat. Bob, Bill, you, have, you have your answer now. Jason, you have a big room. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's even bigger than what's being shown on the screen. <laughs> and it's hilarious. extremely clean. <laughs> yeah, that wall behind me is we have nine foot ceilings in the basement and it's 10 feet wide. So I've got plenty of room for LA back there. Yes, sir. <laughs> I love it. And there's another one next to it that I'm surprised no one's noticed yet. Were you oh, sweating nice. holding that big old frame that whole time? You should have told me it to was, shut up. It was sitting on my lap. <laughs> it wasn't all I don't have the upper arm strength like Ryan does. <laughs> okay. the body, yeah. Got it. Well, mine's way less exciting, but this recently came in. This, can you guys see it okay over here? Do I have to try Ooh, to put on. it? Oh, no. I love these. Oh, the light. Oh, man. Oh, sorry. I'm trying. This is can the... Can you hold it in the, the card can? Yeah, I can. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, there we go. There, there we go. go. Yeah, just... But this is... Not tilt. I'm worried I would have knocked over the card. Well, I can just move it yeah, out like this. Okay. But this is the 1964 New York Comic Con, which is supposedly wow. the first Comic Con that there ever was. Um, they're like program. So it felt really unique to go and grab this. But the front that is, is really cool. Tell us who the, the artist front. is. The, the Dicko on the front is what sealed the deal <laughs> for me. <amazing. laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> I once i that. saw that i'm like yep i gotta get it that's wow. special i it actually just, had it never, felt really unique too i had never heard of that item until you showed up with it didn't know wow. it existed i didn't either until i saw it <laughs> and i don't know if i paid a good price or not but when i saw it i was like that's unique i've never seen it before i'm just gonna pull the trigger on it so Leah says she has a card that she would love to move. What is it? Huh. I, I must have missed that. What card it was. Curious. Uh, Ryan, that was amazing, by the way. Yeah. That um, that cover is awesome. Yeah. So that was the uh, halftime show. <laughs> that was the halftime show. Are we ready to give this away? Oh, yeah, that's right. We're running that. Hashtag Kang. We only got 40 people entered, but we got 100 people watching. Kang, did you enter? No, I missed I missed it. What was, oh, go what ahead. We still got time. What Hashtag am I winning? Jason, <laughs> you're winning your OA. Oh, thanks, Lewis. Appreciate that, brother. I'm down with that. Everybody's <laughs> really happy for you, Jason. Oh, Hashtag you, Kang. Uh, hey, can we open the, the three MM boxes and then run it? Sure. Let's do that. Hashtag Kang, you're going to get an out of 49 blue canvas. Uh, Kang OA <laughs> reprint. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, for people who are watching who don't know, uh, and I know Kang's a legend, but this guy, this is the guy who pulled the OA Redemption out of Marvel Masterpieces, of which there's only two in the entire product time. Which means he's either going to get the Thor original art or the Spider-Man canvas original art, which is one of the best headshots of Spidey ever done. Um, and we don't know what he gets. We hope he gets uh, the Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. But if he gets the Thor, we'll make fun of him for the rest of his life. <laughs> but he'll be happy either way. Right, Kang? I will. Represent that I'm rooting for the Thor, actually. 
Oh, you're rooting you're, for you're them. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm no, no, here's Sorry. why. Because he knows that me and Ryan will badger him <laughs> until he has to let it go. I want Kane, a piece for you, life. Kane, Kane, can you tell them how you obtain your boxes that had the OA? <laughs> <laughs> can you tell that story to the group? <laughs> It's a pretty long story, but uh, <laughs> you can give the had a lot of, of it. it had a lot of impulse buying, and uh, I, the funny part was, see, it <laughs> always follows Ryan buying boxes, right? So he <laughs> he's just flaunting it in our faces, and I I I had emailed uh, DNA, and I was like, hey, you guys got any boxes? I I heard. From my good friend Ryan McKenna, <laughs> that uh, you had you sold him some boxes for like I don't remember what it was at the time, I but I, I used Ryan's like name and they were like <laughs> Ryan McKenna. Oh, we love that guy. Yeah, we used to have you know, you know we used to have boxes for you. Anything for Ryan's friend. So so I ended up getting some impulse boxes and uh, it was hey, in there. Don't you imagine that at that point. The person set the phone down, and there's there's a warehouse full of boxes, and then there's a special room full of, <laughs> full of the boxes. By the, the way, boxes. I've already gotten in trouble for saying this kind of stuff before. But 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 now it's in a positive light, so it's, it's, yes, it's yes. okay. And so they they went and pulled one of uh, the boxes that has the original art in it. Uh oh. We got we got oh, mirage. Oh, it was man. bound to happen. Just, just yeah, get it. Really third hit. Three. Just get the best sketch ever. This is the mirage I get every time. Every, oof. You can't get a Dan DeSanto sketch unless you get a mirage. <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> yeah, well, you can get it with a canvas, canvas variant too. <laughs> That's just being greedy. <laughs> <laughs> I want it all. <laughs> just get a third hit in this box, and you'll be okay. Ryan says, Kang's story should be collected in a book somewhere. <laughs> and a Pal Palo Queen saga is something else. It was good three, four weeks of Ender's Oh, Ender. man. The Palo Queen. I was the first one to bail on that. You guys stuck it out to the you middle. Were. <laughs> no, I was the second. I got in trouble with her. Because I requested a refund. <laughs> she she stuck to the bit though. She was very persistent about her Lewis story. Lewis is calling the dance sketch. By the way, there you go. What's wrong with the mirage? It it's <laughs> <laughs> well. When you pull as many as Ryan, it you know it kind of loses its flavor. But I, um, I can't even get the Spider Man one though. That's the thing. Like if I could get the Spider Man one, I may be okay. But it 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 uh it has a way of. You know, tipping the hand of what's going to be in the rest of the box. I really like the mirages. They're done. They are well. great mirages, and and they mirage really well. <laughs> they do. I really hope they find a way to release that artwork on its own, so you can actually see it in its full glory. Right. Like the Green Goblin, for example. I mean, that OA is incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. The back of the head of Norman Osborn. Yeah. yeah. Dan just highlighted it in one of his posts recently. Yeah, I think he did today. Has he sold that one? Not last I heard, but... It didn't say sold. That's yeah. why I asked. It looks good in person. <laughs> we want it now. <laughs> uh, speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us have a VIP invite, you know, the only special <laughs> tree you got to go to. Well, my name gets OA, so I don't know, I don't know what's better. <laughs> Ryan McKenna, I cannot imagine that uh, you would not be invited to the next one, but I could be wrong. By the way, hashtag Kang to get the blue oh. canvas store. Oh, this is apropos. Yeah, it is. What's the number? Release the Namors. 53 of 99. <laughs> oh, I, I was saying I'll never look at that no more at the same ever again. <laughs> yep. It's kind of like one of those things like 
you get married and you're having kids and your wife suggests a name, but it's like of a kid you knew in school. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, nope. What's wrong with the name? Yep, not doing it. <laughs> what we got? Saber Yeah. You saving the sketch for last? Yep. Okay. You set it to the side already? I did, yeah. Uh, that belly collection, that derpy denim in the back. That's a cool venom. It's a nice yeah, that's a, that's a sick venom. Hang around. It might be our next giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting in on that one. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, Wait, I Brian says like two or three of these already. So many names were ruined being a teacher for years. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> only a, yep, not, nope, I've already met that kid. <laughs> oh, the winning is cool. Yeah, I like it too. I've had the Venom hot hand, I, I will say. And Kang apparently has the Wolverine hot hand. Oh, after yesterday, absolutely. Those are good hands. Ooh, surfer. Yeah. Not numbered. The same five cards have been sitting in the background for a while, though. We need another big hit. I agree. The sketch. The dance I mean, a lot sketch. of that was already our mission. But... Let's get that golden DS signature. Mm -hmm. D3. No, wait. Is that yep. a tier three? That is tier yeah. Three. Yep. Yep. I guess I haven't opened enough product. Mm -hmm. I know you got to buy some. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. All right, here's a sketch. Yeah. Oh. It's been a while. I still have masterpieces uh, content I haven't released. Oh. That I need to. With Dan. Oh, yeah. Release it. Time. I need time. What does that say? Oh, wow. Michael Munshaw. Oh, absolutely. Oh, He's a fan of the community, dude. Uh, He's the guy in the suit. Hey, hey, hopefully it's thematically just like the Captain Marvel. Oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> <it's all right. laughs> Kang, what were you saying? Kang has gifted me a Munchaw. Yeah. This hey, is that's a Ryan's great face, second Munchaw. That is. This can we hold it back up? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see if I can find the other Munchaw. Storm, oh, no. this storm is hugely appropriate given... <laughs> What's up, Manu? Hey, come join us, Manu. How about the suit, too, Kang? Yeah. It's the right suit. Let's see. Well, that's what I mean. It's, it's hugely appropriate. Oh, that's oh, I got it right I thought here. you were saying Disc of the Storm, and I was going to be the guy who made those. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> there um, we go. We got the, the <laughs> dual yeah. munchaws. <laughs> those are cool. That's a great <laughs> sketch. Not the character you want, but that art is great. <laughs> that is a really good storm. Uh, hey. Manu, hashtag Kang, because we're uh, Ryan's doing a giveaway. Cosmic yeah. variant. The sketch is cosmic variant. <laughs> Manu, you know you're welcome. You have a permanent <laughs> invite. I just that is over sure. your. Um... Oh, hey! By the way, uh, if you're you're already following Manu on Instagram, but if not, double check, make sure you are. And I think DavengerCon is tomorrow. It is, yes. Our West that's Coast right. Avengers channel, and Manu's been posting some really cool stuff that he's going to have available for the con. It's an online only con on West Coast Avengers YouTube channel. I would love to know how Manu sources all of these collectibles because every time I tune in, it's PSA 10, PSA 10. I know. CGC 9 8. CGC and of course, it's all Carnage, yeah. Venom, and Spider Man. And I'm like, I'm he knows, not going to buy any of this. <laughs> He knows his audience. Uh, Manu is a, uh, what, what is that phrase, people? Uh, only dope stuff. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Only good stuff. Uh, no no crap. But that means Ryan will be selling all of these cards in the background to go yep. to the, the con tomorrow. I got to go buy some stuff. I do need a web of Spider-Man, Manu, number one, 9.8. Doesn't have to be a newsstand. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That is the West Coast. 
Dave has a whole weekend plan. Uh, Joe says he says 100 cards a week with a 10% pre grade requirement. Uh, 10 pre grade. 10, <laughs> not percent. 10 pre grade requirement. My brain was trying to predict what it was. Manu does not waste money. So I know that's not happening. <laughs> Smart man. All right. We got two sleeves in here. We know what that means. Oh, Amber and Metallurgy. Yeah. This is box five. Yep. Looks like you're not winning the box war. So. I am not I am not winning the box war. I actually still need a Gwen Metallurgy. That's one of two cards I'm missing for a complete real though. Really? He knows why he's saying that out loud. Uh-huh. <laughs> you gotta win it name, to existence, you know. You gotta name it, claim it, you gotta blab it, grab it. That's right. I still need a really good Mysterio sketch from Masterpieces. Ooh. Do you still have the OA? I do. There you go. Another juggernaut. Oh, Perna's here. Hey, Perna. Oh. Hey, Perna. Hey, Perna. Hey, did Perna get his Taskmasters? He did. He did. Did you get your sketch? Not yet. Ooh, I can't wait. By the way, yeah. I need to send Perna some blanks. Perna, I, I may be able to do that in the morning. Uh, can you give me your address again? I want to send you some Spidey Hits blanks. Definitely do that. My stack's getting too high. That feels like a flex. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I did not have the magic preliminary art. I had to buy it. Uh, you did? I did. Thank you, Parna. I actually don't know if I have that one in the binder either. The magic? Yeah, I haven't looked at my checklist in a while. I know you haven't. You've been distracted with Gwen OA. That's right. Can you see Brian's comment? <laughs> <laughs> I would never be so spiteful. <laughs> <laughs> Called it out. Black Widow. Exactly Black Widow. <laughs> it's rude. That is true. Switch I, feel like, I feel like you always pull Black Widow. Damn experience. It's true, though. It's my second pink. The second pink Black Widow. Man, I'm regretting not grabbing that water. <laughs> I just grabbed the glass. You should you should do the same. There's a you know, my wife has these zero sugar power aids out here. It's probably gonna make me throw up, but I'm gonna try one real quick. Uh oh. Don't do that. <laughs> We're gonna wait for Spidey hits to run off and then start opening Pokemon cards on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any of those, so um... <laughs> That'd be up to you. I do have one random non marble box in here that I bought because I bought into the hype. Jason would know. So oh, yeah. It. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Yep. Wait, hey, Lord of the Rings is welcome on this channel. And I what? This is the Marvel channel. <laughs> the marvelous stuff is allowed. <laughs> There's a lot of good <laughs> crossover with us, though. Look. I absolutely love J.R.R. Tolkien. I love the Lord of the Rings. I love the books. I love, I love the Fellowship and Two Towers and Return of the King movies. Not so much The Hobbit. But, uh, yeah, I love the Lord of the Rings. We, we not have a hit either. Either hit. Yeah, not from this yet. Right? Well, okay. well, I mean, I've got the two sleeves set aside. Oh, like okay. Save them for the end. In fact, when I was at Stephen's house, uh, Stephen Wallabrew, who I did the Marvel Car Crib uh, yep. in Miami, what he had, he, yeah, absolutely. He had the Hildebrandt original cal- 1970s calendar painting 
uh, of Gandalf being presented with the One Ring. Like, oh my gosh, it's so and it's huge. It is massive. It's nearly th- like three feet long. Wow. Yeah. Doesn't he also have the first prints of the books too? He does. Yeah, I thought he did. He absolutely does. It's impressive. <laughs> yes, he has first prints of quite a few books. Nice. Yep. All right. All right. Two packs Here left. Best of luck. Uh, Denny says, where's the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, Justin? Uh, I actually ate my Reese's Pieces on the way here uh, from <laughs> my daughter's uh, production. Hermit, what's up, dude? Just as a rip-a-thon, ABR, always be ripping. You know how we live. Hold- camera first. Hey, you're a little out of camera, a little out of camera. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, you're good. 50. 50, be a good character. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Matches your transfer. It does match my <laughs> oh, that's transfer. True. There we go. That is. I like the positive spin on that one. <laughs> and then we have a friend. Red, that- Spider-Man is one of his favorite things ever. Does he does he have a nine eight for sale? Did he say that? I did not see if he did say that. We have a friend who I don't know if he's still looking for a certain number within this one. They were in, uh, yeah, Sweetie Shimmer right here. Does this? I think you need in the eight hundreds. I honestly don't remember, but he was looking for a certain number. They said thanks, Ryan. Uh, remember the hat, the giveaway hashtag Kang for uh, out of 49 blue Thor canvas. All right, we need a Spidey metallurgy. Yes, that would be wonderful. Hey, don't get too greedy. You're hit a Wolverine. Okay, fine. A Gwen, <laughs> <laughs> we take those. <laughs> a Gwen we go. Color wise, it doesn't look like it's going to be either. Oh, blank works. That's a great looking one. 23 of 25. Yeah. Can we get it all the way in the camera? There we go. That looks good as a metallurgy. I'm not going to lie. It does. It does. Yeah. I love the metallurgies. Hey, did you get your metallurgy from me? I think I mailed it to you. Me? Yeah. I opened one for you. Remember? Oh, yes, I did. The X23. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what it was. X23. It looks good. I have the 15 amber in that too. Nice. Awesome. Uh, All right. Karna, Kang it has an H because it's it's after our friend here uh, <laughs> who has who has a 50-50 chance to own the original art of that Thor card. So K-H-A-N-G. Kong. There we go. <laughs> All right, we're on the right. box six. That's yeah. right. There's only one MM after this. We got so and another platinum, right? Yeah. Yep. All right. So get your hashtag in. Hashtag K H A N G. And for the giveaway. So technically, this is box seven because you have opened a box yesterday. Yep. That you made me open. <laughs> <laughs> Borderline bullying. Yeah. Peer pressure. Well, I just. I just plowed through five, and I felt so lonely. You know, <laughs> he did go much faster than me too. He he's very all efficient. Right. That's all right. We'll the art people... never gets old. Don't worry about it. Uh, a little high on the camera. Hey, magic. Sorry. Magic. Sorry. All right. Beautiful. Do you need any magic from this set? Yeah, I mean, ooh, that definitely does not have sugar. Um, <laughs> I do need. I mean, obviously, the, the one of one would be great. Um, I need, I have the emerald, I have the orange, purple. Um, what do I not have? I need the one of one amber. I think I need the out of 15 amber, too. Just listing all the one of ones. No big <laughs> deal. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> If I don't acknowledge it, then I can't can't get it. Like you said, you got to name it, claim it. Yeah, that's right. Have they been pulled yet? I, I have not seen it. Okay. I'm not. And right now is not a good time for me to see it. Okay. Because <laughs> what it would cost to buy it. 
Yeah. I know the Gwen one of one Amber was pulled, but the red spectrum has not. And I'm assuming since the Miles red spectrum came out of physical, that it's probably going to be an EPAC somewhere. Yeah. I mean, other products in the past have typically done like an either or, like odds, evens, or ever other, you know, kind of thing. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if that's with masterpieces, you know? Yeah. Do you think they control it that much? I can tell you that with Spider-Man Metal, we were able to figure it out because we could we could fact check what we saw pulled physical, and then we could we started fact checking what we saw pulled on EPAC, but then we figured out a way to view every card on EPAC. There's a weird glitch on EPAC where oh. I can't remember exactly how we did it. It was like while you were looking for a search in something, and then you select you know something, and then it showed every one of one in Spider-Man Metal. Even if it had not been pulled, and it was, it was exactly what we thought it was. Uh, oh wow! So interesting. So, speaking of uh, Spider-Man Metal, mm -hmm. isn't there still an AF15 cut? We believe is out there. It's the one from the cell sheet that never turned up, it, right? Yeah, and it would be incredible to have uh, with him walking away and with great power, also yeah. great response. Oh. Uh, but we don't know if that was really turned into a cut because it could have been a mock-up. Oh, um, you know, and, and in the second interview, we we found out that the book that was used, they they in one interview said the cover was like would have been like a seven O, but they didn't tell the rest of the story. Apparently, the book was like chewed up on the back, and that's why they were able to afford it. Okay, so good cover, good interior, you know, some good interior pages, but probably not all the pages. So I, I don't know if they were able to actually get that panel. Wow. Um, and there's good panels that, you know, on the back of other cuts, you know, the cut out, you know, had on like there's a there's a second side of that page that's not yeah. gonna use. I mean that would arguably want be one of the best cuts because of that phrase. Oh yeah. Um, it it would be it would be me. the cut. Yeah. I mean yeah. maybe the first time he's putting the suit on. Based first time he's putting the suit on full body is pretty special. Yeah. You're a little out of camera, Ryan. Oh, sorry. My bad. Okay. Yep. That's a great. I love that dude. I do too. I'm cheating. I've been peeking over the camera. That's whenever I. Uh... <laughs> well, hey, look. Nope. No pressure. You only have 114 people watching. Hey, that's all right. That's it. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for hanging out with us this yeah. Saturday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Friday night, Saturday morning. Yeah, I was going to say, it's super late on the East Coast, so that's impressive to have that many people watching tonight. Thank you, guys. Yeah, it's really, we, look, we have a lot of fans that are not in the United States. Also true. Yeah. We haven't got a hit yet. I might need that domino for the binder, Ryan. I'll hit you. All up. right. Just let me know. I got to check. Y'all need to call him Dr. Doom. He didn't go to eight years of evil medieval school to be called Doom. <laughs> you know, and he probably does have an ego, and you're right. We do need to call him Dr. Doom. Uh, we got people in Canada. We got people in – Ben is in Sweden. Let's see. Who else? Oh, oh is that number? Yeah. It oh, is. no, it's a speckle. It is a speckle, and we have a sleeve. Um, you got what's speckled. that mean? So it sorry. means it's an amber speckle. Amber speckle? Yeah. It could be an out of 15 or out of one. It could, it could be. It could be. Thank you, Manu. We wanted to see the auto, though. Yeah, we did. So it's got to be the other box, huh? Yeah. Well, yeah, between the two of you, you bought... So Over a case, so there's got to yeah. be one somewhere. Definitely. Florida is another country. I can attest to that. <laughs> Florida's about to start their busy season. Yes, they are. Two more packs left. Mm -hmm. Iron Fist. Purple. 
Speaking of Iron Fist, I am super excited for Daredevil Born Again. That show is going to be epic. <laughs> I hope it's really well written and it's got good pacing and the storyline's compelling. Is it being done by the same showrunners that did the Netflix shows or is it a new team? I, I mean, I think so. It's just after watching what they did with Kingpin and Echo, it's like, yeah. Oh. All right, last pack. Best of luck, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, seven lower. out of 50. Oh, sorry. Seven out of 50. Lucky seven. Ooh, okay. Okay. pretty pride. Yeah. Oh, that looks That's a nice one. I, that does look good. Clean. Doesn't make the man, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm hopeful for that show, Justin, because they, okay. Disney actually made those Netflix shows canon. And they brought back all of the original actors. So John Bernthal's coming back as Punisher, Kristen Ritter as Jessica Jones. So I'm hoping that it's the same creative team behind it, and that would be really good. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm like pretty desperate for a really well written street level hero mm -hmm. storyline. Like I I, re I I really want it to happen. We do a right. to feed into Spider Man to the movie. Is it, is it giveaway time? That was it we got, is giveaway oh, yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's uh let's yeah. get the screen ready. One Hashtag masterpiece. Hang. You want to show them what it is first, real quick? Let's yeah. do that. Let's let's go back to that. That's what that's what's being given away. Out of forty nine, Thor blue canvas numbered. What's the numbering on the back again? It is twenty seven of forty nine. Sweet. To share screen, giveaway tool. All right. Yes, six to six pictures. Yes. Best of luck, Good everyone. Luck. Three, two, one. Give it away. Kang's not allowed to win. I was going to say, this is rigged <laughs> if he wins this. <laughs> I'm going to crack up. One time, baby. Uh, card by. Card card Congratulations. Go. Let's go. If you're in the Discord, Ryan MCKE, and then I think my Instagram name, I don't use it too often, is RMM Comics. And or and you can also message me. Uh just send us a screenshot of this of you winning and uh tell us what you want. And and I'll get it to Ryan. The the real the real winning tonight was it was not me giving it away. And it would take a year or two for you to get the mail to you. Ryan's a much better shipper than I am. But congratulations. And Ryan, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for everyone who's joining tonight. All right, Bob says thanks. All right. We're going back to platinum. Let's do it. All right. One box of each it. left. We, Best of luck. I mean, we haven't replaced anything on the mantle in a while. Yeah. Come on. Let's do that, Ryan. And it's really when Kang showed up, to be honest with you. I, I was just about to say the same thing as soon as he showed up. Just straight downhill. Oh. Hey, you know we love you. Is Brian still with us? Brian, you still out there? This is a great I, Mysterio art as well. I, I was going to say, this, I, I really love this something. card. Brian is like just saying, be Ryan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he's just trying to be Ryan. <laughs> yes, he is. His whole he's, life. His he's whole here. life. That's that's actually kind of funny. He's here. Card vibe appreciates it so much. Yeah, Ryan is incredible. Did uh Brian, did mind. you win? Did you win the uh pixel? Oh, did it did it end? It did. Yeah, it should have about an hour ago. Yeah. Ben says, I got to figure out how to send you a postcard from Sweden. Wait a minute. Ben is not from Sweden. He's from Australia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. That's a good way oh, to start. He did he win. The pixel. Thanks for ruining the comps, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> B Ryan is a cop. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Nick. We really do appreciate it. My wife is telling me I have to take out the trash because she's had it for the day. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm guilty of that all the time. <laughs> I took it well, out earlier, and my wife isn't even here. I look. We, I that's the one thing I do is is I I take out the trash. Yep. Ooh, black miles. That looks good. Yeah. Ooh, the venom right on. The yeah. Head. We got to get Manu this card. Manu. I think he would like that one. Yeah, for sure. Only in a 10, though. Yeah, of course. Yes, standards. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I really like the iconic covers subset of this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. For sure. I would have expected that Gambit to be one of them, but. Ooh, yeah, that's a good point. Are any of you guys watching Shogun on Hulu? Not yeah. yet, but I've heard nothing but good things about it. It's on the list. Yep. Well, uh, my wife and I are actually watching Fallout right now. We've only got one episode left. Oh, I finished it. Did you? Uh, I didn't even know it existed until you told me. Was it good? <laughs> it's really good. And I, then I just powered through it. Okay. Well, it, is, need, it is really good. I need yeah. something to watch. What do we got here? Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, What's funny man. is my wife hates video games, and I'm a lifelong gamer. And Wait, last... it's a video game Fallout. Yeah, it is. yeah. it's yeah. a franchise. There's four of them in the franchise. Uh, I think the most recent one came out in 2015, so it's an older franchise. Uh, but it's got a huge fan base. Yeah. And she hates video games, but we watched The Last of Us and Fallout, and she's absolutely fallen in love with both of them. Oh, my wife loved The Last of Us, so maybe I can get her to watch Fallout with me. Yeah. Hey, Ryan, can you can you pull back up the Venom? Because Manu says it's the Black Air covered, and I did not notice that, but I, I think he's I right. I either. And then we'll get to the comments. Uh, yeah, it is. Wow. That is, that is the Black Air cover. And I think that's, again, that's TJ's fingerprints all over from Upper Deck. Yeah. That's awesome. Manu, thank you. Yeah, that's awesome. Never knew hey, that. Manu, you, I think you and I ought to do a show one day. because you, you <laughs> He really knows his stuff, doesn't he? <laughs> He'd make a good eye. He's got a good eye. He seems opinionated, though. I'm How not do you sure. look on camera? Do you have a good voice? Yeah. Or do you have any <laughs> charisma about you at all? <laughs> Whoa! Ooh, there we go. Hit. Spidey hit. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Manu says he loves us. We love you too, bro. <laughs> Could you imagine if he did a sales show, though? He might be really interested. <laughs> hey, if I want him back on the channel, I, all I got to do is do a sales stream. <laughs> you guys stop doing the show during like the two biggest events that have ever happened in CGC's history. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I was not a part of that. <laughs> Just because they did they did a masterful job. They did. They the, did. The, the, you know, the Lord knew I didn't need to be a part of that. But 100%. Uh, I didn't want that. It it because it, it it gosh, it was yeah, I just didn't want to be thinking about it all the time. So did the, so I haven't played Fallout in obviously a very long time, what almost 10 years, what you were saying, Jason. D- mm-hmm. Does it follow the storyline? I honestly can't remember. I yeah, there's it's pretty hazy for me too. Um and it does follow it pretty good. Although from what I understand from the community, I think the final two episodes are where it deviates a little bit. Okay. So Mr. Nick says Fallout's fantastic show goes next. You do not in all caps need to be a gamer to love Fallout. Mm-hmm. It explains and, and develops the world and characters within the show well. So that is good to know. Video games is like, that's when I knew I was old because my kids wanted to play video games. And I was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do, do we have to? I thought I would never say that. I know. I still, only so I still much, love uh, What's that? I still love them. I do too, but like I have, you know, everyone knows two lovely daughters, but uh, they wanted to play the, um, what is the, is it like the Mario, Mario party where you like, yeah. It, With all the mini games, the mini games. Oh man. Yeah. 
And they were so good at it, they just would destroy me. So <laughs> I'm like, you're eight. What are you? How are you so good at this? <laughs> yeah, I was I was just playing Mario Kart with my girls the other night. Now, oh, Mario I was about to Mario say Kart. Mario Kart. That's a that's a fan and favorite I, for sure. On well, which, on which system? Switch. Switch is a lot of fun. But are they beating you yet? My oldest can. What's my, old, my oldest can, but okay. our middle and youngest can't yet. Man, when Ashlyn started beating me, it lost all its luster. <laughs> What's up? Ian's here. Oh, hey, Ian. He says, uh, hey, guys, I'm usually late to the party sometimes, uh, absent, but hope you're doing well. Hey, look, just glad you're here. We are doing well. Furnace says Fallout, he did not play, but really liked it. Three packs left. Logic School says Mario Party makes great drinking games. I can kids. imagine. <laughs> with the kids? Come on. No, it makes it more fun for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Such a good Hulk. Yeah. Wait, Justin needs to get good. Get good. Get good. Yeah, yeah I need to get better. That's for sure. Yeah, I'm a lifelong gamer, so I'm pretty good at games, but I don't play a lot of like racing games or Mario Party type games. So my <laughs> kids can definitely beat me in those, but not in uh, Call of Duty or some of the more mature games, let's just say. <laughs> I'm not good at the first part computer game. I used to be, but there's no way I'm good anymore. I like it all it started with Goldeneye. Oh, Goldeneye yeah. was great, man. That's a classic. <laughs> That that was uh what it was not Doom? Uh it was Doom. I also yeah. played Heretic. Heretic, I don't know if you guys ever I didn't played play that, that, one. that one. So there you know how your memories are connected to other memories, like when especially now that that old, but the, the Doom PC game is what we're referring to. Yeah. You, you youngins out there, right? <laughs> uh <laughs> But uh, let's talk about Oregon Trail real quick. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, hey, no, that is also a need. Oh, no, it is. Clean it up today. <laughs> oh. oh, wait, no, it's not. Never mind. Oh. I thought it was. It's it's what next to the blue tracks. But anyways, no, you you hey, Ryan, you keep that one, man. Oh, That's I on appreciate me. it. Thank you. It's <laughs> very kind of you. I don't need a second one. You inspire me, Ron. <laughs> well, when you get a five on yours, you may need this one. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to Brian tonight. I'm just trying to be Ryan. <laughs> uh, but anyways, going back to Doom, the PC game, I drew a really good picture of Lady Death. Not Lady Death Strike, like the big chested Lady Death. <laughs> <laughs> that, Do you still have it? No, I don't. Mm. Uh, I would gladly show you if I did, <laughs> but um, it was the it was like the classic first appearance cover look. Oh, Command uh, and someone put Command and Conquer in the chat. Command and Conquer was amazing. <laughs> and uh, anyways, I went to this friend's house to play Doom, and the guy's like dad was there, and he saw that drawing. Oh, he, what is what color is that? Well, uh, that, is I've that amber, that. or or is that gold seismic gold? It's either seismic gold or amber. Ooh. So that's nice exciting. Seismic. But anyway, the, the dude accused me of tracing. <laughs> He's like, that's too good. You didn't do that. You traced. I'm like, what do you mean? I was like, no, I didn't. I drew this. Here we go. Here we go. Is it going to make the man all? <laughs> Whoa. Mr. Fantastic. Okay. That's actually a really good looking one. Yeah. I like that. It is, it is nine, out of nine out of ten. That is good. Going on the mantle. Does it go on the mantle? Andre, absolutely. By eternity. 100% it is. I, Take down I, the eternity. Eternity actually, yeah. lasted a lot longer than I expected it to. <laughs> Man, that's what. Kane knows how to start him in there. Dude, that looks so good. It does. Sweet car, says Brian. 
Yeah, Andre Meister killed it. Yeah, he did. By eternity. I'm surprised Brian didn't just write claim in the chat. What's I know. He, he talking about? <laughs> I want to go put it on eBay so he overpays for it. <laughs> <laughs> Raise the comps. Exactly. Can y'all not start that? <laughs> Please do not put that on this channel. <laughs> We're just giving Brian a hard time because he seems to keep overpaying for cards. I know, I know. You're going to be uh, <laughs> guilty of what has been accused. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. We know he, ha he, has a, he has a controlling share of the market, of the product. <laughs> he's opened, what, five cases out of nearly 50,000? So he's, you know, or 3,000, sorry. Brian says, y'all haven't seen seen what I bought while you were streaming. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. I, I got a couple of it. Okay, yeah. We're it looks get real nice. Discord. <laughs> oh, is he showing it off in chat? Yeah. It's nice. Hey, are we are we seriously planning a, a get together in in at Dallas soon? When when's Dallas? I don't know. Well, I guess it so. When's the next Dallas card show? I don't know. You want to do a Comic Con or a card show? I'm good with either. Manu's it. saying mid May. Mid May? Mid May. Dang it. There's so much going on in mid May. 26 days from now. May 16th through the 19th. My Cinderella ballet is the following weekend, which means we're probably doing rehearsals. That whole weekend. There's one in July. Manu, which one are you going to? Yeah. I'm definitely going to that one. You going to the mid-May one, Manu? This is the last is talk the night, right? I know. I might could drive over that Friday. It's so sad. It's so sad that, when it ends. It, it went does. by so fast. I um, know. So, so May the 16th, I think it's a Friday. I could drive over that morning and Dude. spend the day and drive back that night. Oh, no. A speckle? <laughs> it is a speckle. Oh, oh no. God. Well, your Ant Man collection. And it's an Ant Man speckle. I already have two of these. But you have the transfer. And now you have oh, look at this. Look at this. Manu will just appear. My you pulled next card one too, I was didn't leaving. You? My next card, I was leaving. <laughs> I'm just going to collect all 99 of them. I, I got a two out of 99. Oh, man, this oh, ember better be good. Hey, look, you're going to get you're going to get an incredible <laughs> parallel. <laughs> May 16th is Ghost's birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, happy happy birthday. birthday. Oh, yeah. Ian knows. He says speckle box. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's okay if it's a lightweight speckle box, but this is a, a – I think I think I fell asleep. Let me just double check. Yeah. Sleeves, sleeves amber then? Yeah. Okay. Oh, look. Ant -Man oh, another Ant-Man. Hey, just keep that <laughs> rainbow <laughs> going. <laughs> Just complete the entire rainbow tonight. Hey, Ian said, see, I told you. That's what I'm saying. Although the one of one venom was in a speckle box. I thought the one of one was in a, a metallurgy box. Well, he would know. He pulled it, didn't he? He would. Yeah, he did pull it. He knows better than me. Can we check with the guy who pulled it? Is this the answer? We're going to go and do it? <laughs> so, so my question is, was that one of one taking a place of the color slot? Or was it taking... A place of the hit slot. I would think it was taking place of a color spot. That is how I remember remember seeing it. Uh, this hit the camera. Sorry. Right, Ian. It's, instead of an orange or a purple, you're getting well. Instead of an orange, more likely. Yeah. You're getting the. You get the out of twenty five, or you get the one of one. But that's why he called it a three hit box earlier. It was both speckle and metallurgy. Oh wow! Oh, I've so, never seen one of those so, before. Yes, yeah, so it was definitely the parallel oh, slot. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 
Did you guys see the video that Dan posted of his creative process on Nova? Mm. He had he had another concept for that card that he almost went with, which was just sick, like it insane artwork. Yeah. It was full body Nova walking away from a supernova behind him. It was oh insane. my god! I don't know why he did not do that. that yeah. I don't know. That's too good. I think I've got to say that for masterpieces <laughs> number two. Oh, you got duped. Dupe. Lawrence Dupe. Add it to the dupe collection. Yep. I got the plate and the, the auto. Close to a rainbow on that one, then. <laughs> there you go. It's okay. How many packs do you have left? Is there a chance that you can have a three? See how he just opened that pack? <laughs> <laughs> he just gave up. <laughs> Do I have to open them? <laughs> my, my speckle was a three hit box. He's just rubbing it in right now. Yeah. It was a nice one. It was, it was five, a... five packs left. It was an Xavier Gold Sig and a Wasp base with that speckle. Sorry, that was, with the, that was with the speckle? Yeah. Yeah, but so you didn't have a sleeve. That's true. Oh, it, it, is, it is April 20th. Oh, yeah, it is. Not Maybe for me not. yet. Not for you yet? Poor oh. Brian can't get his Emma Frost variant that out of all these boxes. Oh, he still doesn't have it? No. I, I pulled it. I think I gave it to Dan. Oh, did you really? Yeah. 13 boxes. I think we've only seen one T3 variant tonight, right? The Medusa? No, I in that one box I had three. I had oh, the did? Nova... The Medusa, and there's one other one. Oh, I, I didn't remember. realize Nova was tier three for some reason. Yeah. Ooh. Justin looks high on Marvel cards already. Uh, you're confusing high with sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I get how they both make you have heavy eyes. I guess we're just going to have to open more Marvel uh, masterpieces. Well, he's up. Your turn. Him and Jason. Him and Jason are up. I got OA bills to pay now. <laughs> right. Car, uh, Ian says, I think that UD has listened to the weighing of boxes and changed it, which is another story for another for how boxes could be changed so long after release date. That's interesting. Hmm. hmm. Brian says he's sending messages about boxes, so we shall see. There we go. <laughs> oh, nice. Beautiful. That's a good looking card. Yeah. It is. I have the, an auto of this one. It's really nice. How many packs left? Last one. Last pack magic. Oh, yes, sir. It's got to be it. a really good amber. One of one. Come on. Which which Gwen do you have? I have I have the 50 and the 15. Okay. I just don't have the one of one, but it's been pulled. It has been pulled, yeah. Out of 15. Ooh, yeah. Out of 15. Okay. That would be a big character. Okay. Okay. Spider. Man, oh, Drax. Man. What a Drax! All right, <laughs> <laughs> All right buddy. I uh, I think all my boxes don't even add up to your boxes, gang. Sorry. Yeah, but you had a good time, didn't you, Ryan? I had a great time. <laughs> I had a better time than Kang had with his boxes. <laughs> Brian says, <laughs> oh, "Break it to him gently, B. Ryan." <laughs> There's a Drax collector out there. You know there is. And, and he's grateful because he doesn't have to pay very much for him. Seriously. <laughs> well, that's it. That's all I got. Oh, that was fun. 
That was a blast. Happy Ripathon, guys. Yeah, really. for, uh, letting, you were supposed to be participating in this rip of thought. I know we would have another. <laughs> hey, all one hundred and ten people know that there was supposed to be five other boxes with incredible hits that you all would have enjoyed greatly. <laughs> yeah, but uh, Kang here opened them yesterday. You know, not on stream. You know, I can't wait. Now all you get is blurry hey, pictures in the Discord. You show, yeah, show your hits. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I didn't get through. It's four twenty. Show your hits. <laughs> I'm just leaving them all. But uh, yeah, it's hmm. this so. is good stuff. So you want to see it? Hey Ben, thank you. So this is an interesting Dennis Hedry sketch. Oh yeah, people are uh, there's, some, there's some fans of him for sure. Nice Hulk sketch, very clean. I like it. I do. You still see the emotion, even though it's kind of more of a simple. Yeah, he, he's he's actually giving you a side eye. Yeah, oh, that's cool. I see nice. it. <laughs> and then the other sketch was also pretty interesting. It's uh, Scott is fighting, dude. Oh, that's great. Jason Sobel. Is that yeah? I know. The, I know that name. Is is that crayon? Um, it's yeah. I feel like there's a bit of crayon in it. Yeah. Like Did you Jane notice Castell's? that on the? On the platinum Bill Sakevich sketches, he has crayons. Oh. Is he really? Yes. Huh. 100%. Is it's it's a water colors. Let's see here. Yeah. Let me, let me, let me, um, give me a moment. I want to separate them to where you can oh, see like, what was packed with what. So. He's like, how do I want to present all these great hits? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. The Mirage was interesting. So basically, Kang and Ryan got boxes out of the same case. Kang got yep. all the good boxes. <laughs> yeah. So Which he used my name, of course, to buy the boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Funnily enough, also a Ryan Connect. Uh, so it was a Mirage box. Sorry. Oh, but it was the, a spider. The, spider. the one he needs. Yeah. With the the hey, one I have, want. If you have two of those, please let me know. I don't. He does. I. In the event I do, I'll let you All know. Right. Sure. Um, Justin, do you need the gold six, Spidey? I do. Okay. I do. Well, so I got an extra. This popped up extra oh, in that same box. So Extra? Wow. Just an extra. Yeah. Third hit. Uh, that one's decently centered, too, it looks like. But it, it's scratched A little up right to left. It's, uh, it's pretty scratched up right here. Uh -oh. I don't know. PSA 5. <laughs> Could be. That's at least a six. Uh, it's definitely <laughs> a six. Oh, you're all the worst. And then, <laughs> I and traded the a... cleanest Captain America uh, for that that Spidey though. Oh, In the same box though, uh, orange. Well, actually, it's just an orange, but it's an orange eternity. So. I got a green oh, to go with that if you're interested in rainbowing it. And then the Hulk, <laughs> <laughs> like you're not even there. <laughs> <laughs> he's, so, he's so used to tuning me out. He's just <laughs> so the Hulk had an emerald scarlet witch. Ooh, yeah, that is so good. I mean, how hey, good is that? It is so good. And I'm gonna tell you guys, that painting in person is insane. I believe it. 16 out of 25. It's a great card, but the painting in person is just nuts. <laughs> Did you card a metal? He had one that failed the authenticity. <laughs> Because really? <laughs> it's just so bad, it can't be real. <laughs> here's here's Brian uh, Ryan's curse. Yeah, yep. I was hoping for a Spidey, and he just yelled out "Black Widow," and it was Black Widow. That looks I like said it. no. I said don't be Black Widow. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, it and it's the, a, the reverse it's a beautifully curse. centered Black Widow, not Spidey. <laughs> yeah, ten out of twenty-five. It's pretty good. A little brain in the back. Sorry, but, but, if I was a Black so Widow so fan, I'd love that card. Yeah, no. that's my second one. One of my early. Well, and I am a Black Widow fan. If I was a Black Widow collector, she's a great awesome. character. Huh. eBay sent it back in a one touch with the eBay authentication logo engraved in it. Totally killed me. Wow. Oh, was it like yeah. so off center? They're like, "There's no way that it'd be cut like this." Dang. Well, the authenticity of raw cards goes to CGC, doesn't it? Through eBay, CGC is the one handling it. If that's what you mean. Yeah, I think they're the ones that are 
confirming it's authentic though, right? It's PSA oh, does I, PSA, PSA does graded cards. And what's weird is they do their own graded cards and they review CGC graded cards for oh. authenticity. But then I thought this the raw cards all went to CGC. I think you're right, but I can't remember exactly who. That was a big yawn. Sorry. Get this man some reasons. Uh, Hermit, hey, I still been mean to go back and watch me fall asleep in that one stream. <laughs> <laughs> you actually did three times. Um, I, you know how scary it is to wake up and you're like, oh wow, I'm still alive. <laughs> it was so. it was that Sunday with mm. Brian, and then at my I text my wife to bring me the Reese's. It's uh, third box. Go see no. Xavier. D four. Are you was... saying Brian's not exciting enough of a of a cut? <laughs> the same I'm speckle. Telling you. Oh my god. Oh good. I need one of those. I don't have <laughs> the same speckle as the Brian. And then the surprise was the uh the wasp. So oh, nice. cool. Very cool. So, Parna said Justin's selling away. That reminds me, the Commodores have a great song uh called Selling Away. <laughs> yeah. Salem. Oh, okay. So hmm. I got to look for it. Give me a I remember the South Park cover of that song more than the I do too. That's what I was thinking of the, <laughs> South, Park the cover. South Park cover. <laughs> was it the Commodores that did that? I thought it was like no, it's not. REM or someone. Hold on. I don't think of the song that I'm actually thinking of. No, Come Sail Away. Yeah. No, no, I'm not Cartman that. singing it. Cartman, yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the <sighs> second box was uh, Sail on, on is actually what I'm thinking of. Mm. Orange they got, that's so, beautiful. This is the second box. Yes, this was a see what box. else came came out of this box. And then <laughs> base <movie>. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. one box. One box. <sighs> one box. Two out of ninety nine Wolves. It's been really then, cool to see people's response to the Wolverine because, you know, there was some, you know, initial people at first that didn't like it. But I think they, I think everyone likes it now. It looks a lot better it. in hand. I love it. Yeah. I was not a fan originally, so I'm guilty as charged. Oh, now you're pumping. <laughs> oh, all of a sudden, it's great. <laughs> well, yeah, because he's got the, he's the, got the SIG of it. Yep. Yeah. So. <laughs> and then... For the first box, it was okay, uh, that out of fifteen. Out of fifteen, out of 15? Out of 15 yeah. Thor. Okay, that looks good with your light behind it. Like yeah, that. it really does. That's it? It cool. looks real good. That hey, you want to trade light. for a Drax? <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> and then my uh, jumping back into the one of one club. Oh wow, Sandy, dear. Sandy, where are you Sandy. at? You pulled a, a plate? Yellow yeah. Van covered Daredevil. Oh, I mean, how insane was this five boxes? The highlights look great. All right, the you, you pull a though. card like that, it'll make you want to collect it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it really it does. That is awesome, dude. The man without fear. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Was, I've really wow, been those thinking about the could defenders. Be your they could have could been. been. But I got the other what? Could have been me. <laughs> Could have been four. I got the speckle. I pulled three speckles. <laughs> the <wolf. laughs> My only uh, platinum hit right here. Oh, just happens to not be a bad one. one. So, Good yeah. lord! I, I, I opened one box that Ryan sent me. Is that uh, bragging? It <laughs> is. And <laughs> you know, what? You bragging. Yeah, I just opened one box. That that I bought him. He, he, bought, he literally sent to me against my will. He sent it to me. He sent me free money. Yeah. Brian so claims it. box is to Kang to open. Go, I know. OA, a double <laughs> Wolvie box, uh, oh, pixel variant cover. I will uh, say, Ryan, the box you sent me to open for Norke had an orange oh, green in it. So it had a, it had a purple one. Was it purple? Oh yeah, purple. Yeah, but it did have a T th- or a tier oh, yeah. four in it too. Yeah, yep. And I was lucky enough to get the three bronzes. So I have a got, set. You got loaded. <laughs> bronze. The Hulk looks good, doesn't it? It does. It, it's uh, the spider looks good too. You got to get in the right light though. 
Yeah, it's it's a little. They're all like a little different from one another. Mm-hmm. I feel like in terms of the way it's, uh, and the the Hulk. When you put them in a one touch, they 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 feel even better because it they feel more like a card. I guess is what I'm saying. When you put they're, them, they're heavy as shit. That's what they are. Yeah, but the uh, I feel like the coloring from the Hulk is different from the Psylocke and the Spidey, even though they're all just base bronze essentially. Mm-hmm. You, you can't tell from these. But, I uh, love how you can see Bruce Banner at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, Vinny says, I love Drax. I mean, that's who's on the move. There you go. There you Drax go. Hey, is that one numbered or not numbered? It is. It's hard numbered out of 2000. Okay, uh, so that's the out of 2000. Because there's the, variants the, of that. The colored metal. What number? Uh, 787. And mine's 12... 1283. Yeah, they're nice. I really need the Spidey. This 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 card looks so good in hand. Don't you agree, Kane? Which card? But I need the Spidey version it. of it. No, it's the same. Oh, the Hulk. Hulk. Yeah. Oh, 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 the the colored. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, the so the 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 Hulk metal one is thin, right? But then uh-huh. the col- the full colored ones are all bronze. So I think it's the same bronze thickness, except it's colored. Oh, wow. I could be wrong, but that's what I understand it to be. We need that checklist. <laughs> I don't think they've released a checklist for They haven't. Like, or, officially. Or I've seen anyways. Yeah. So. But yeah, Man. That's what I got to show. This has been fun. Yeah. This was fun. Two hours and 21 minutes. We got 92 people still hanging out. And uh, it's been good. Well, anything else to add or any comments that we missed? Yeah, per- Perna says, yeah, it's, it's the colored bronzes are, are the thick. Bronzes. I think Ghost is wondering what where this is from. Oh, so this this is an incentive from the 92 JoJusco uh, Kickstarter campaign uh, where they did a F, uh, FPG book to celebrate his art. And then if you were a backer, I think originally they were going to give you uh, one. Yeah, it was just one bronze card. Yeah, one bronze card. By the but way, then, which was announced here on the Spidey Hits channel when we were at North Carolina for the VIP Marvel Masterpieces DeSantos Gala uh, private viewing. I went live that night and we revealed and announced that FPG was doing that that night in that stream. <laughs> nice, but That's we only awesome. knew about the bronze at the time, and they were only doing the bronze card because that was just the incentive. But then they started getting behind, and they were like, "We're going to do these extras," is what they call them. Yeah. So uh, why do some people get two, and then some get four? The tiers. So you you got two automatically if you were in the second tier of the support. I think Justin, you're you're muted if you're talking. I'm not saying anything. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, no, that, that's that's the difference. Well, so tier, I, bought, one backers. I did the OA backing, and I only got two. Really? So, so the extras, everybody's guaranteed it. So maybe yours is delayed. That's what I understand. Yeah. Hmm. And then you were tier two, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. So there. You didn't get no way. You didn't get no way. It was already sold out by the time I. Oh. Yeah. He doesn't do OA unless he pulls it from a pack. <laughs> <laughs> I can't my name. afford OA unless I If we were close it. friends, I think we probably all would have got in it together back then, huh? I think Did, we would definitely would yeah. have. <laughs> I have the Rogue. I still have it. Nice. And it's going to be kind of cool because the, the dust cover that's going to come on it is supposed to be a one of one. It's supposed to be just the Rogue. Oh, that'd be cool. It's supposed to match your art, I believe. No, oh, that sounds yeah. awesome. So I have the I painting guess. and the book with the cover that matches the painting. Huh. Which I think is cool. And by the way, while we're talking about Jesco, he it's been announced that he's going to be at Heroes Con in uh, Green. Is that Greensboro? No, that's. I believe so. North Carolina. It's somewhere Greensboro, in North, North Carolina. Carolina. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not Charlotte. So. But I think it's Greensboro. But wherever it's at, Heroes Con. Maybe it is. Anyways. I can't remember. 
but he's going to be there. And there's going to be a pretty large contingent of Marvel card collectors there. Uh, if you remember the story, that's where we first met DeSantos, and that's how we, we all got connected with him before the art was announced. Um, and it's in, it's like basically in his hometown. So there'll be a lot of cool artists there, a lot of cool cards, cool art. Do you know uh, if DeSantos is going to be there? I can't imagine he won't. He, he I, I can't imagine him not being there. But I don't. I haven't heard it be confirmed. It's like one of the last kind of comic book. Con. What's the date for that? I think it's in June. Yeah, it's like the week before you go to Denver. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Does that mean it's <laughs> over Father's Day weekend then? Yeah, I think. Father's I think Day. so. Mm-hmm. I think it was through the 16th, and that's Father's Day. Is the 16th? June right? 14th through the 16th. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, father. Hopefully, my OA away. comes before then. Then I can make a trip down and see Dan and make him sign a whole bunch of stuff. It's not coming before then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, don't you know they quote it 12 to 16 weeks? You'll, about that stuff. you'll have yeah, it by well, 12 to 25. Mine was quoted 20, and I think we're at like 35. <laughs> That's tough. I'm a father of my cat. <laughs> yeah, it is Father's Day. Mm-hmm. We'll have to make a guy's well, trip out of it then. Yeah. Brian says he was the tier below the OA and got three bronze and a cut. I'm hole. stunned Brian didn't. He must have been late. I'm, I'm stunned Brian didn't get OA. From, from, from just goes Kickstarter. Just, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. I well, told everyone. Only 100 of them, Mike. It was, a, it was 104, I think. Because he added the. 93 and the lost ladies so who knows maybe more than 104 yeah the oa was in my cart when it sold out i'm so sorry <laughs> that's tough that does that does stink someone got sauron <laughs> oh, <laughs> speaking of sauron i got <laughs> kang another gift here oh, oh good lord <laughs> he's seen this one but the audience should know First appearance of Siron. Oh, right here. Cool. <laughs> oh, and it's his butt shot, too. <laughs> Just for you, King. I'll send that. You got to have it cleaned and pressed. You dip it in some water. I got it from our friend Dave. Dave sold it to me. Oh, that's awesome. If I, if memory serves me correct. Oh, so it presents as a 9-4. So it presents really well, especially for a comic that old. Did he write but, presents? Yeah, he did. But he said something's wrong with the staples, so he'd yeah. give it an 8 Oh, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. If so you haven't met Dave in person, he is he's he's cool on camera, don't get me wrong. But he is just a wonderful guy to be with in person. He seems like he'd be hilarious to hang out with. He is, he is fun, that is for sure. Yeah. Uh, I, th- I think I told y'all, but we, we had a great time at LAX together. And so, my goal is to get there for next year. Well, yeah, you, that's I mean, my goal too. It, we, we have to all do it. It's going to be some special stuff. I can't share it yet, but let me tell you for Marvel card fans, I wish I could tell you, but I just can't. But it's going to be <laughs> be ready because because we we want this to be a place. Uh, and I say we, I'm speaking. Uh, OAX wants it to be a place where Marvel card fans really, really get to enjoy cards and the art that creates it. And, uh, you know, I think it's, I think, I think that's what it's going to be. Nice. Mm -hmm. When are they going to announce the dates for the next one? I think they kind of have already announced. I I think they're opening up tickets, you know, you know, sometime in the immediate future, but. Oh, okay. Uh, just when we river dancing in a Spider-Man costume. If I get in good enough shape, I will gladly do that. <laughs> but I don't river dance. I do ballet. So let's, if I buy um, a case of NM to bring to OAX, will okay. you river dance in a Spider-Man costume? I will give it my best shot. Again, I don't know how to river dance, but I'll kick at the floors as fast as I can. Get Ron Lim to OAX. Yeah, that would be a great idea. Uh, that would be cool. I like how you keep finding excuses to buy more cases, right? <laughs> I don't need excuses. <laughs> but look, that uh, being together and opening product is a part is a part of the. Experience. No, yeah, I would love yeah. to do that. 
Bronson's I mean, it's fun, fun doing it here, but can't imagine what it's like in person. It's it's really special. Yeah, those those of us who have discipline are saving boxes for the next couple of cons. <laughs> oh wait a minute, y'all! You're the reason I didn't save boxes for LAX. Remember? <laughs> and then I got I got in trouble. Yeah, he's he's over here bragging, but the one MM box he was saving, he sold to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> It's gotta get more. Use that money to buy the original art. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. No, it's it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a good time, and and uh, I pray that the dates work out for as many people as possible, and maybe we can sneak out and go to Disney for a day. Hey, there you go. There we go. That sounds fun. Yeah, it, it really would be fun. Um, it'd be good. I'm surprised you didn't say Universal. Isn't that where Spider Man's at? Yeah, I mean, but look, I, I no lie, I'm more of a Disney guy. Um, you know, I've I've done just guys only trips twice now, and so, and I'm 13 hours away, so that's not a small task. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. We we get we get pins that say uh, uh, "No wives, no kids," <laughs> and we wear them around. Nice. And you you drive there? I've driven and flown. I've done both. Oh. Yeah. If I if I drive, I tend to like spend the night in like in Destin or something like that. Yeah, and uh, we'll like I'll get up early and then get there around one or two, hang out at the beach, you know, eat, sleep, and get up and drive in. It's like six hours driving in, so just get up early and get in about noon, and and start you know day one basically. Mm-hmm. But flying, I mean, it's not much easier. It's just not as much driving you know, because you have to lay over and yeah. still a full day and you never seem to get there early in the morning. It's, it tends to land late in the evening. So, but either one, I don't care. The last two times I've flown into Florida have not been a great experience. And it sounded like your last one was. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in both cases, I didn't get there uh, in, in the right time, but you know, the last time I went, uh, I was delayed a whole day and overnight. So, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, if I'm taking, and, and if I take art with me next time, or if I'm bringing art home, I may just decide to drive. I'll probably see if Brian will drive down to meet me. And if he wants to go, and then we'll just ride together. Well, you're coming from Texas. Yeah, you guys should all meet up. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be meet. like, I'll start from Austin and then head up to oh, wait, pick up Brian. Oh, no. Maybe I can get you to fly to Monroe from Austin. Is there a direct? No, there's not. Dallas is <laughs> Sounds like a lot of work for you. <laughs> also, it's a long trip. How fa- how far are you from Shreveport? An hour. An hour, okay. It's you a five-hour work. drive from Austin to uh, Shreveport. Maybe yeah. I might have a direct flight there. Yeah, I remember as a kid, my dad taking us to Austin in a bucket seat 1980 Chevy full-wheel drive. <laughs> and, and we're twins, so that means me and Dustin had to take turns riding on the console all the way to Austin. <laughs> And my dad stops at a gas station uh, and leaves his wallet on the back of the toilet. Oh, no. And it's like an hour in before he realizes it. You know, oh, gosh. And this, you know, my dad, you know, doesn't have a bank account, didn't then either. So his wallet was the bank account. Like it's, wow. it's like he had every dollar in there that he owned, you know. And, uh, and so. Uh, I, that's I remember that trip. It was a really long, long trip to Austin. That didn't imprint negative sentiments for driving for you. The negative sentiments for driving for me happened a little later in life, but that's that's a, a story that's, for another story day. time. It's, uh, <laughs> it's actually a crazy story. <laughs> my uh, my we 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 finished eighth grade, and my dad got a wild hair that he was going to uh we were going to move to arkansas and when i say wild hair like there's no prep time i come home that evening and dad's like pack up we're going to arkansas wow. <laughs> my brother freaked out because he didn't want to leave his friends and ran away oh, wow my dad uh i love my dad everybody knows that um but he stayed up all night drinking and so the next morning after dad had not slept all night he says you, uh, you have to go find your brother and bring him back because we're going to Arkansas. And so I, I felt like I knew where he was at, and I brought him home. And uh, when we get, the, get back home, we load up 
um, a three quarter ton Chevy pickup with a headache rack. You may not know what that is, but that's like where you load lumber and stuff on top of it. And we load all of our stuff into that. And he's pulling a camper behind it because we're going to live in the camper in Arkansas. <laughs> we're going to sell fireworks on the side of the road. Oh, no. Okay. Well, my dad brings the kitchen table. Like he's bringing everything. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and just like, we were not moving out of the house. We had been living with my grandmother cause we didn't have a house at the time. And so on top of the cab of the roof of the truck, my dad puts the table with the legs sticking up in the air, <laughs> hoping that in between the headache rack, it would ride for nearly two hours to, to Eldorado, Arkansas. And we, we pull out and the very first stop sign when my dad stops the table <laughs> shoots off the top of the cab of the pickup and skids across the it's a t-bone intersection like this and it skids across the other side and me and dustin had to get out and get it back in the truck oh my god situated where it would ride and uh but dad had been up all night and drinking so by the time we got basically out of town onto we call it Arkan called arkansas road because it takes you to arkansas this highway 15 uh, my dad scoots over all the way to the edge of the window and goes to sleep <laughs> head hanging out, his well like his head hanging out the window and so i'm in the center seat driving the truck <laughs> with the camper loaded down and i'm 14 years old <laughs> it's a stick shift oh and my gosh it doesn't <laughs> when it's in third gear, it doesn't stay in gear. You had to hold it like this. You like just hold it like that. And um, so, anyways, I'm driving it. We get through a town called uh, Farmerville. Okay, yeah, I know what it sounds like. And you okay. can't wake him up. He's he's passed out. He's knocked out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and in front of me, in this, it's like a, it's like a. There's more than one red light in this town, but at this time, there was a red light and this little churchy's chicken and a Chrysler convertible Sebring runs the red light and gets in a wreck in front of me. And I'm wow. trying to push the clutch and the brake and stop. And I'm in full panic mode. Right. Cause I think I'm, I'm going to wreck too. And we come through it and get through it and uh, get out of farmable. And then we get almost into Arkansas when dad kind of comes to. And uh, when he did, I, I told him I'm never driving a standard ever, ever again in my life. You will <laughs> never make me do this again. And I have kept that promise. And so, <laughs> even though I grew up around standards and, and you know, you know, driving a manual stick shift, I told him after that traumatic experience, I would never do it again. But that we did. We ended up moving to Arkansas and that actually ended up changing my life in the, the best possible way. But that's a, another long story. Go. But Wow. That, 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 is a story. that is a story. Yeah, well, that's a, that's the a start of a story. It, trust me, it continues. It does not stop there. <laughs> it does not stop there. So. Well, we need to get more boxes so we can hear the rest of the story. That's my yeah. takeaway. We'll do that. I, you know, I've thought about maybe one day telling telling the story because you know, the, obviously, you know, people hang out with me here on the channel and get to know me some. But I, I've thought about maybe maybe sharing more of the full story because it is pretty incredible. Would love to hear that. Yeah, you know, for sure. Your, uh, your own book. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, but end up staying in Arkansas from uh, that would have been that was in June because we we were selling fireworks for Fourth of July. It was nineteen ninety eight, and uh, and came back home that December, which was two days before Christmas, and uh, the the way we got back home is. It turns out the reason we were going to Arkansas is there were a warrant out for my dad's arrest. Oh, <laughs> and so uh, what brought us back home is we get a knock on the door that night and two bounty hunters show up oh, and, my God. And, uh, and, and arrest my dad and bring him back to Louisiana. And so Dustin and I, we, we, we had to coordinate three car rides, like hitching rides back on Christmas Day, 1998. And, uh, and I, that's when I came back to Louisiana and never left. So, wow. Yeah. That is a crazy story. I can see why you never wanted to leave again. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was a whole interesting, 
interesting time, but it was good stuff. Nice. For sure. Well, guys, we'll we'll end it with that. Uh, everybody, thank you for watching the Ripathon. And, uh, <laughs> Inaugural Ryan, Ripathon. There's thank, plenty more. Yeah, Ryan, thank you for making it happen. Uh, really yeah, appreciate, appreciate you it. having me. It was fun. Jesse, Thanks for everyone who joined. Yeah, and the giveaway. Thank you for that. And Jason yeah. for, for hanging out. Always good good company and showing off your Gwen back there. I yeah. love how you strategically put it right over your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Smart, smart. Thanks and, for uh, having me, Justin. It was a blast tonight. Always love having you out with you guys. Kang, always love having you on too. Thank you. It's Thank an honor. Thank you for having me. Uh, really appreciate it. Everybody hit that like button if you haven't already done so. If you like this kind of content, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button so you can catch the next Ripathon because we know Ryan's buying more boxes. <laughs> I think, so I think Brian's on deck. <laughs> yeah, Brian. The, the B Ryan. Yeah. You want to be Ryan? B Ryan. B Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. And uh, anyway, as always, I hope you have a marvelous day. Hey, everybody.